Hello, welcome. It's a very special hard lore time. Bo, how you doing? I'm okay. I hurt my back. <sighs> you always got something. I got wrong something. With you. I what happened? I jumped out. Well, we had okay, so <laughs> we Harm's Way played Heart Support Festival this past weekend in Orlando, Florida. It was a lovely time. There was a booking discrepancy with Priceline. We got a, a room with four bed spots. I I volunteered, slept on the floor, bad night. Mm. Loaded gear, you know, and that was after sitting on the plane, loaded gear, played the show, jumped all, around. Got, all back, baby, base yeah. cab. Yeah. All back. <laughs> all Save me. those knees, you know? And uh, got even got two massages at the fest. They had massage chairs. Amazing. Two. Still. Two of them. Before and after that the set. second one is what fucked you. You think so? I think what fucked me was sitting on an airplane for three hours. Just probably. Or just, you know, uh, you know age. But we're, today we're talking about Master Killer mm-hmm. for a very specific reason. Mm-hmm. We, it, it's the pinnacle, you know? A lot of people argue today, like, well, why isn't this the set it off or the, or the bright side tier? Remove yourself from hardcore and what you know about it, you know? Mm-hmm. You show mm-hmm. these you show these records to to uh, a layman, to Johann Sebastian Bach. You go back in time. You say Bach, Vas. Li- listen to Master Killer set it off in Brightside. Yeah, okay. He's gonna be like Schweiss and das. Ich, ich, ich habe das gehört. Yeah, that's what um, he would say. So it, 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 that's a really good point. If you if I showed someone who like peripherally likes heavy music, Brightside or Breakdown. They'd be like, yeah, this is good. They'd be like, okay, you show them Master Color. And a few others that were submitted that we're surely going to get to. Yes. But I think it's important that we... Our criteria people, today, let's explain. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about the criteria, because I think people are confused. So Master Killer is is uh, is lauded on the show because of... There's a few, there's a few uh, reasons here. The mm. production mm. is perfect. Mm. The sequencing mm. is perfect. The musicianship, perfect. The songwriting is perfect. The lyrics <laughs> are perfect. And and I will even say this. It's not my personal aesthetic, but for someone who like likes Eastern style tattooing, who's into the samurai shit like yourself, like the artwork, the music video fucking amazing it ticks every box on it ticks every box so yeah. and it's important to also remember there's no samples there's no gimmicks no. it's there's, front yeah there's back. no like the craziest like production overproduced thing is that like dive bomb that's like a minute long yeah that's, that's just long real that's yeah. just a guy going for one minute and um i think it's because i'm gonna I, I, one thing i want to talk about is when we talk about these albums, are they allowed any skips? Um, because Master Killer has quite literally zero. No, skips. no skips. Let's, Not a and to, single to that to that point. Let's look at the track list of Master Killer real quick. <laughs> I want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Time ends. My favorite. That's my favorite song. But and it's like well, think about that as an open. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 as strong as anything. It's as strong as anything. It's perfect. It's got a perfect breakdown. The yeah over the chug part is... is. They tell you everything about the band from the first song. Ooh. And then it's like track an two yeah, yeah. gives you something else. A rock a cow cow. Gives you, that's, it goes from like perfect first track to what is time has shown to be the hit. Yeah. Into... Like a, a again, a completely kind of different sonic experience while just evolving what they've already done, and then they wait then, till track four to give you the single. But dude, don't skip Mirror Shows Black. That's what I'm saying. Oh, the the chorus of Mirror Show Black, dun, 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 just dun, dun, on the ride, dun, 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 dun. It, oh, unbelievable. That's I, that was for a long time. That was my favorite song. I thought it was so good. I'm with because it there's, is. There's <laughs> Marauder on this record. They they throw away riffs in a way that works for them. Ooh. There's there's riffs where you like, I would take that and build a whole song around. Gotcha. Dun, 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 dun. They're like, no, yeah. we're gonna do that twice for ten seconds, fifteen seconds. 
where I would be like, I got to get that in a third time. It's too good. You yeah. Know? It's too, right. Right. Oh, and, good point. And that's, that's like a thing I've, I've tried to adopt writing wise, but you, it's hard cause you get attached to something mm-hmm. and like you look at movie scores, they, those motherfuckers, John Williams writes one sick riff and then, and he's like, all yeah. right, how do I play this yeah. a thousand different ways? Yeah. Marauder writes a thousand sick riffs <laughs> and says, how do I do this one time? <laughs> That's um, respectable. The A side is so stacked. It's crazy. Not that the B side isn't, but it's just when you think about what side A is, because Miracle's Black, Master Killer, Don Full of Christ. Yeah. It's just like. Uh, perfection. <laughs> Quite literally. Quite and literally. and. Like, for anybody who plays guitar out there, playing all of Downfall of Christ live, standing at, like, show speed. <laughs> the triplets? The triplets are fucking crazy. Dude, I mean, that's double bass for three minutes. Three too. and a half minutes, yeah. It's crazy. It's, and then even the and chorus where you, you normally get a little respite as a player is... Drummer gets a still, break. Yeah, the drummer gets a little I mean, you you get our point at this point. Great bass slide. It's, it's just it's just hit to 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 hit, 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 hit. And it's in a way where anybody we talked to that kind of came up in this era is like, yeah, they this went over a lot of people's heads. Like it wasn't a huge deal. Even though it came out at Century Media at the right time. Hmm. Uh it's just like everybody that like Tom, we did a we did a mini horror lore with Tom Sheehan where he, he kind of breaks it down. I'm looking forward to people hearing that. Yeah, uh, that was a really cool talk. It, 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 now, obviously, people grow. It's uh, all these things are more accessible. People can appreciate it. Some people still don't understand what we mean by Master Killer tier, though. Right. So we're gonna list off. I have a lot. I, I have quite a few. But let's okay. Let's just be super clear. So we're talking about: Are there any skips allowed? I think it has to be a a, a per capita, per pound for pound situation. You know? Okay. Because there's one that you said even before we started that I I take objection to. You've got to skip. I've got to skip on 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 truly one of my favorite records of all time and one of yours that I know. Mm. So that'll be an interesting discussion. But so we're talking about something that if, if the other hits outweigh the dud, I think enough, there can be the, this song, is, this album is 10 songs and it's bad. Let's just, let's just, let's just start with one example. Okay. Rancid and out come the wolves. Unbelievable. <laughs> one could argue. <laughs> <The best>. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. My my only complaint is that it's so long. It's very long. But that's but, not. But pound for pound. Pound for pound, it's beefier even than Master Killer. One could argue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Rancid's a band that I got into right. because like getting into kind of modern versions of like Lion's Law. I saw Lion's Law and Brody was like, dude, if you like this, you like Rancid. Just so you gotcha. know. Yeah. So it was it was a, it was game over, uh, but the the complete Sonic experience is is what I like. Gotcha, I love that. That's a good that's a good answer. It's, so, and it's I feel it's objective, a pound for pound. And I also think it's important to keep in mind. Someone asked, and I I, I responded on Twitter like a paradigm shift. Mm. It has to have done something. In terms of the the paradigm shift argument, I like. It needs to have j- at least shifted a paradigm with me. You know, mm. a lot of these, I don't think they need to have like, because Master Killer didn't change the landscape of hardcore. Not until then. like now, you know, right. but it, it just like it, it connected in a way with me where I'm like, okay, this is just a perfect thing. So I, I, if you, if, if somebody suggested something that like dying breed, Take my soul, give me grave, changed no paradigm. But I could argue to the death that it's like, sounds perfect. The songs okay. are perfect. The lyrics okay. are insane. All right. Um, but I, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily I suppose... say it's masculine tier, but it's damn close. Okay. All right. I just want, like, okay. There are, there like, the fucking, the guy that said sinking ships, I, I diplomatically, what are you talking about? 
Yeah, we're talking master the- killer. Sinking, sh- I'm guarantee you, and sinking ships would be like. No. I don't think so, man. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. No diss to sinking ships, but none, we're talking none this at all. Is master it- killer. We're, we're we're literally gonna we're about to talk about some of the most selling records of all time. One hundred percent. So it's Master Killer is like, the lowest selling thing that we're going to talk about. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> but it yeah. just happens to be perfect. Mm-hmm. What's your first one? Let me. I have it on my notes app. I have so I, many now that I'm looking uh, at it. It's crazy. I don't have that many. So my first, the first one that always comes to mind is Homogenic by Bjork. When See, I'm, I not heard, a big, I'm not a big beer. I, I know that. So I also, I was kind of, I, I don't want to bias, but I was kind of actively searching for unobvious ones. I mean, I have some obvious ones on here too, but also Most ones that like, are pretty up. where we wouldn't be like, oh yeah, like you and I just wouldn't. Yeah. I, I just so have no, I have no stake in this discussion. You can okay. tell me that the production's perfect and the songs are perfect. No, no, no. What it, what it was for me and the paradigm shift for me was like realizing that like, oh, there doesn't have to be a guitar. I'm not a huge hip hop guy. I'm not Same. a huge. And at that point I was not a huge electronic music guy. And this was like, oh, this chick can sing and she writes every, she does everything and is a total nut job. The record is just like beautiful. It like it literally it changed the way I looked at music. Okay. Because I got into it after I was already into hardcore and stuff, so it changed like what I was hungry for. I have no hmm. response. Well, you know? get get ready no, for that. I never heard. Th- that's gonna happen. I'm sure you're gonna have ones that I haven't heard too. I don't think I do. Fucking Jack. I don't think I do. We'll see. Hmm? You want to know what my first ones? I I really would. Faith No More, Angel Dust. I've just never heard that. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, that's a great answer. It's crazy, right? Yeah. That record has zero skips. Zero skips. I could listen to it every day of my life. I did listen yeah. to it every day for a tour. <laughs> the production is perfect. The musicianship is perfect. The pro- like the production, even from like a yeah. modern, hey, let's throw everything in there. Yeah. It's perfect. Um there's no the, skips. Like, the like two hour, three hour documentary of them like making it is fascinating. Is awesome. Which yeah. that's just an extra master killer point, you know? Totally. Yeah, totally. Another box. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even think about that record for some reason. It just didn't because it's pretty new to me still, to be mm-hmm. honest. 2015 ish. I would say it's my second favorite record of all time. Of all time. Yeah, album. Wow. I have one coming up that I know we're both going to just. Jizz over? over, yeah, cool. What's it's not coming yet, but um, yeah, but I am. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> well, let's just get it out of the way. Morrissey, Vauxhall. Oh, uh, oh, you put Vauxhall. I put Vauxhall. Yeah, that that for me is like even the stinkers, like lazy sunbathers, is like the lazy un- sunbathers. Yeah, it's like I can't help but just it's just amazing. That's all very well. Um, but will you I, please I keep put the quarry. Noise you put you are the quarry. Yeah. It's not that I think um, there are bad songs on your other quarry. I just think mm-hmm. there are more, like the pound for pound discussion for Vauxhall is what gets me. It my, so I, I discover them both at the same time. Mm. So, which means maybe my view is more objective because I didn't have any bias. It wasn't yeah, like, d- oh, I heard this first, so it's this is better. I heard Viva Hate because Josh from American Nightmare had Viva Hate written on the back of his bass. Josh, if you're listening. <laughs> thank you so ha- much. P- happy belated birthday, Josh Holden. I'm uh, so sorry for punishing you on Instant Messenger when I was 14. He doesn't remember that. Uh, he doesn't know what a friend of the show he is. He has no idea. He has no Josh, idea. Yeah. Shout out. Um, but And that's how I discovered like those earlier records. And then Vauxhall was a little later in life, but not much. Mm. There's not there's there's not a bad second of music of on Vox Hall, dude. Yeah, I mean that that so that's a big argument towards both of them, dude. Morrissey with sequencing is crazy. Mm-hmm. He always saves the best for last. How is Speedway the last song on the record? Because he knows he, knows, he knows how to do it. I almost so thirty nine years ago today the first Smiths LP came out oh. the self titled. I almost put that. But then I was like, Vauxhall has, is pound for pound better. 
I get it. Uh, so I just, I mean, Quarry's on mine. So we'll just say these at the same time. Yeah. You Are the Quarry is, is my Morrissey record that I think is Master Killer tier. Vox, I'm not going to say Vox Hall isn't because mm-hmm. put on fucking, what is it? Why don't you find out for yourself into Hold On To Your Friends or vice versa? Vice versa. <laughs> Fuck off. Like, what are you, what Fuck are you talking you. about? Fuck you. Try it, um, motherfucker. You can't. Um, can can one have more than one Master Killer record? Because even Marauder doesn't. I love Five Deadly Venoms. I love Five Deadly Venoms. But, but it's, it's not. It's not the same. I mean, in, the the proof is in the the production is like they were they were demos that they. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Uh, where do I go next here? I'll just go in the order that I wrote them. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Here's for you, Bo. Master Puppets. That's what I put too as my Metallica yeah. representation. I think it's just it's the best one. It's the best one yeah. all the way, front to back, production, and damaging, songs, like closing, with, like uh, yeah, lyrics, the vibe at the time. Yes. They weren't they, you know, they were artwork. A full, dude, the artwork is unbelievable. Come on, unbelievable. The, and it's, the, it's stage the longevity the is in the is being shown today. You know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was that was the one I, I put for sure and. I, I saw a couple rides in our Twitter thread. Ride is ride. close. It's close. And people also were also tagging me and saying Black Album, which I obviously love. But, like, <laughs> I don't need to ever hear Unforgiven ever again in my life. I love Unforgiven. I love it, but I don't need it. Sure. There's not a song. But when it hits. Master. Yo, when yeah. we're at fucking Bloomingdale's and, and like, Unforgiven comes on <laughs> or something, we're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Uh, what's French your horn. Um, for this, so this one, I have so many. That's fine. I, 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 you're gonna have some where I go, oh, yeah. Uh, carry on a lifeless plague was a. I know. I see it in your face, and th- I don't think this was a, a nationwide thing. I really don't. But I, I'm from like they. Totally. They were. This was a huge record for me. Okay. Paradigm. I would say this was paradigm shifting. That's why. It's partially why I picked it. Every okay now now consider also mm. like what we know like some of these songs are like about breaking edge, mm. some of these songs are old songs about being straight edge as fuck. It's fast, it's catchy, it's melodic, it's dude the the fucking roll with the punches is so fucking fast. Like I love it so mm. much front mm-hmm. to back. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't think it's Master Killer tier. Okay. Um, an interesting, I would ride for it to the death. Why? What Master Killer? Your, uh, yeah, Ma- Master Killer in not for heavy hardcore. I'm just you saying you I mean? would say you would say it's as good as Master Killer. I would say. Well, see, this That's is what we're saying. Do. This is what the discussion is. But this is a pitfall of this discussion. But that but that's the pitfall. Master of this discussion Killer is when not you're using as good. the same genre. Master Killer is not as good as Master Puppet. I disagree completely. It's my favorite album of all time. It's your it's, number one. It's better album than Master Puppets to me. I would rather listen to it than Master Puppets right now. You would rather listen to Master Killer than You Are the Quarry right now? 100%. It's your number one. I, w- I picked this discussion because I was wearing this shirt, not vice versa. <laughs> you know? I, I think not it's the I best record, not- period. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I love A Lifeless Plague. I love Carry On. I, mean, I love every band, every member of Carry On has ever done. Probably <laughs> more than you. <laughs> and I can't argue that it's Master Killer tier. For me, it's it's like a no-brainer. It was it was one of the records that got me into like current hardcore and terror included. It was just the like same. 100%. Yeah, there same. was just like no there, it, you, dude, I don't know if you remember this, but back in the day, you would down, you would illegally download a record, and sometimes when transferring it onto your iPod, the last track of whatever it was wouldn't make it. I don't know if this ever happened to you, but it was like a habitual thing that would happen to me. Mm. So the last track on Lifeless Plague, the with the breakdown, the gang, 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 so you, gang, you uh, pirated it? Maybe I didn't have that on my iPod for. Like ten years, 
and then got the CD and listened to it in my car. And it was like having a new carry-on It was like song. having a new carry-on yeah, song. It was fucking awesome. That happened to me with an album I have on here. Perfect. I love that. That's a unique thing that will never happen again. Maybe I just go into that now. This one's controversial. Okay. I would love to shit on one of yours. You're not going to. Oh, fuck. Brand new, The Devil and God Are Raging Inside of Me. Controversial. But that's one hell of a record. Archer's Bows was not on my original download. Oh. You know what? Lifeless Plague is Master Killer here. Now that I'm thinking about it. It, is, it just is. Um, Archer's Bows was not on my download for first time. Really? So that when I heard that track a couple of years later, it was like I had a new song from that session. Mm-hmm. And now it's like my favorite song on the record. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's raging, dude. <laughs> this is controversial. We understand. Yeah. We're, any we're not, any you know, issues you may have with this disgusting man. We're but, for sure going to talk about Led Zeppelin, and guess what? Oh, there you go. Hey, Are there's, there I mean, it's everywhere, yeah. They're scum? What is it? Are they scumbags? I mean, Jimmy Page was dating a 14-year-old, like very openly. That's so no, that no. is young. <laughs> yeah, that's, Jimmy that's Page was dating a little baby. Yeah, straight up. Well, that's gross. Uh, uh, what's your but name? I'll just go into that now. Houses of the Holy, Led Zeppelin. Is my personal... Uh, so you you get into a thing where I think like... Like, I would argue that Metallica have several records that are contenders. 100%. Let's I'm not going to argue against yeah. Ride the Lightning at all. Yeah, right, right, right. It's just kind Fade of, to Black it, is a better song than anything on Master Killer, probably. Anything on Master, Master Killer? Killer? Uh, that's what you said. No, I said Master Killer. Oh, and that's what you meant. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I thought you it's a meant perfect, to say it's like a legitimate, like perfect song. It's a perfect song. In a, in a, like a, an objective musical. Standard, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? Um, so obviously I know like let's have a ton of records and a lot of them are like perfect. Not all of them, in my opinion. For me, Houses was the one where I was like, oh, this band is like not what you hear on the radio because a lot of what's on that record is not really like radio hits. Sure. Um I have one real argument for why this is the one. Sure. If Crowbar covers it and makes it heavy, <laughs> it's done. Okay. They cover no no quarters on that record, and it's so fucking good. The rain song, Over the Hills and Far Away, mm. The Ocean, The Bridge. I, I love that record front to back. I like it a lot, and I respect your decision. <laughs> Do you think any I'm not going to argue against you. Do you think any Zeppelin record is up there? No. You're not, are you a classic rock guy much? I'll tell you what I am. Okay. I'm a Kiss guy. You're a Kiss guy. So Kiss Destroyer would be my I was gonna say I was gonna guess Destroyer. For Master Killer Tier records. Love Gun is like right there. I love Creatures of the Night too. Mm. But Destroyer, Master Killer Tier, no question. I have Opener. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. That's how I feel. <laughs> I have a love gun, uh, like a, a old one. Um, and it comes with a cardboard love, <laughs> like gun. an old one. What? Like a, like a vin, like a, yeah. from, from whatever year. And I it's am. probably like an eighth pressing, but it was like, but it was, it's old as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just, I'm, I'm not a huge kiss guy hmm. and it comes with like a cardboard love gun. That's awesome. It's cool. And I have it. Nice. Good for you. Thank What's you. What's your next one? Trying to think. Trying to think? Um, I'm just trying to think if I'm skipping anything in my head. So next I had Metallica, Master of Puppets, for sure. Um, this one, I don't know how you feel about this, but this one, there's a lot of context to it. I think Pretty Hate Machine is a Master Killer record. I think mean, uh, great songs. I don't, I don't need to listen to it start to finish. So I do. There you go. I love... I mean, that, that was created in 1989. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Way ahead of its time. Way ahead of its time. The next thing they put out afterwards was an EP that won a fucking Grammy. Is that is that Broken? Yeah. So that's, Broken So came that's out my next. favorite. Right. And that was the follow-up to Pretty Hate Machine. Yeah. And, like, one could argue 
it got the Grammy because Pretty Hate Machine was so holy shit. Yeah, Broken is so much harder. Oh, it's way Broken's way harder. Hard. And and like, don't get me wrong. Rain, rain, go away. I mean, there are parts on Pretty Hate Machine that I'm not like crazy about. But do you feel that way about Master Killer? Are there parts you're not? There's a about? there's a riff on Master Killer that I once called silly, and Taylor was very upset. What was it? <laughs> it's in Life Is Pain. The dent, before the solo, after the breakdown. That's a great riff. I I just don't. It's think nuanced. So. It's adventurous. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's better than anything that I could write. I'm not trying to say. <laughs> I'm not trying okay. to say that it's like okay. whatever. It's just like in the context of the rest of the record. It's just kind of a silly riff. I don't like it. Mm. Not crazy about mm. it. No, that's an adventurous riff. Not crazy. That shit is mad adventurous. Um, uh, so I think it's okay to to dislike parts of guess. records or whatever. Pretty but I think sh- when you look at like production wise, what it did for like that Production's genre, crazy. like everyone knows Nine Inch Nails. Yeah, I don't agree with you, but mm. I know many people do, mm. and I think that's enough. Mm. I got one for your ass. Hit me. A fire inside. Sing the sorrow. <laughs> That's your one? For them? For them. Think about this. Production. Amazing. Sequencing. You know, I, I guess I haven't really thought about the sequencing. I should I'm gonna I'm gonna say it to you and you're gonna go, holy shit. Hit me with it. Ready? Yes. Uh, Miseria Cantar, the beginning <laughs> intro, right? Ah, yes. <laughs> Leaving song part two. Biggest hit, track yeah. two. Bleed Black, right after that. Yeah. Silver and Cold, right after that. I fucking love that song. Dancing Through Sunday, right after that. <laughs> love that song. Girls Not Gray, right after that. That's okay. It's, but that's like, yeah, I know, that's I because know. It's, it's, that time has done that to it. It's Mother, you know what I mean? <laughs> Even though mother, mother Rocks. Right, right, right. But you don't need to ever hear Mother again. Death of Seasons after that. Oh. <laughs> Love that song. That's Great that. disappointment after that. Paper, Airplane, Cellular Dream, Leaving Song, But Home Is Nowhere, and then the greatest hidden track of all time. The hidden track, right. It's Time and Perfect. Art of Drowning was Come on, dude. really important. But come but on. I, I can't argue with... Is it better than Sing the Sorrow? Objectively. No, I just like it more. Yeah. I know, but I'm. T- we're talking. This isn't about. No, no, I, I know. I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this isn't about you. It's about Master Killer. <laughs> All right. What's your okay. next one? That was a good one. Thank you. I didn't really think about that one. Um, this one you might hate. I don't actually. Actually, I have no idea. But for me, and again, looking at the paradigm shift thing, uh-huh. nails abandon all life. Wow. Why would I, I not like this one? I don't know because you're a contrarian. This was you. a modern. You're I mean, a real bastard. I, I, man. I would say I'm biased. That's yeah, what it yeah. lies. You know. Yeah. I'm biased, so maybe I don't get. Like I wouldn't put one of my bands on here either, sure. ever. I wouldn't put. I would feel weird even putting Harm's Way on here, even sure. though like th- those were paradigm shifting to me because of bias. I have no bias to any of these other things because this is just shit I discovered yeah, in my yeah, life. Yeah, like, yeah. man, in all life was like as a follow it was a follow-up to an already Mm -hmm. perfect thing Mm -hmm. which is near impossible to do like the sophomore record being in my opinion better yeah than the debut is is way harder way bigger way longer (laughs) (laughs) yeah meaner Uh, the production was perfect you know todd todd like sounded the way he did live on record kind of for the first so, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything about that's that's a perfect record. Straight that's up. a perfect record. I don't listen to it a lot because yeah, I listen to it for a year, one year every day. You yeah, know? I I I remember. I I don't even know if it was Todd or Taylor. So I got it early and listened to it so much that by the time it or maybe it was Sayla by the time it came out. It was kind of like, oh, yeah. Dude, I heard every version of every demo and then every mix and every master. <laughs> yeah. By the time it came out, I had heard it. I had had it for two years, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that, but still, I was like, okay, now it's perfect, so it's totally different. 
yeah, everything everything about that record, I like. I, I love truly. I think that's a great pick, Bowen. Thank you. So great pick. Much. Um, my next one would be Morbid Angel Covenant. Covenant. Some would say the master killer of death metal. Would you say that? Period. I think I would. Over a dying fetus record. I got a dying fetus record on here too. <laughs> okay, but but um, no, me. but I'm saying, would you say there can only be one master killer per genre? Would you say the Covenant is the master killer? Uh, it's a, I would say it's the master killer of Florida death metal, <laughs> which I think is its own thing. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Has it's its true, own true. DNA. You know. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Hundred percent. I think it's like th- the death metal record. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And it's Morbid Angel and Dying Fetus don't sound that similar. You know. No. 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 They're not no. doing the same. They're not. They, they right. don't approach songwriting with the same intention. You're right. Dying Fetus has heard Master Killer, and it shows, you know? <laughs> More of an angel, probably not. Right. Interesting. Yeah. What's yours? Okay. Um, total gear change now. We're going super soft. Change it. Change it. Beach House Teen Dream. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, have you ever listened to that record? No. You see, you know, you're out of your element. I'm, not, I'm in it. Dude. I'm, it, I'm, I, I'm psyched to be out of my element. This record, front to back, There's zero skips. There. What? There's nothing for me there. Dude, that is so... You like Morrissey. I'm going to follow this up with something that you're going to laugh out loud. So fucking stupid. You're going to say some Weird Al thing and be like, no, I, I do. Watching- I love <laughs> I know. Weird Al. I'll put the fucking pop star soundtrack on Master Killer Deer straight up. <laughs> uh, but hey, I, if you, I'll, I'll check it out. What is it called? It's called Fuck You. That's what it's called. That's a badass title. Beach House, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> I mean, they'd be a lot cooler if they did. Be um, a lot cooler if they did. Ready? Yep. Lana Del Rey, Born to Die. Dude, great. <laughs> the master killer of like. Of like shitty PBR. Of like indie <laughs> Tumblr. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of Tumblr. Female for sure. pop. Dude, hit, I mean, like I still know. Pop music. I know every, every lyric. Every lyric. Every single one. What's Sequencing. your favorite song? Off to the Races. Really? Right off the oh, rip? I love off the races. National anthem, dude. Tell me I'm in this well, I love the so handsome. <laughs> yeah, I love the uh red, white, blue in the guys. In your eyes. Love that masterpiece. Part. Masterpiece. And even she does the fucking she does like red hot chili pepper shit. Tick up tick downtown. Tick up tick down. Yeah, but there's actual words. I, yeah, but I still hate it. The thing it, I, I don't love. like about the album. There's one thing I don't like about it. There's a guy in the back just yelling. Ha! He's like, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> in every song. It's yeah. crazy. I yeah. hate that fucking guy. But yeah, other than that, it. I think it is a genuinely perfect modern piece of pop music. By the time I, think I was it, like, for what it did, dude, everybody's yeah, yeah. doing Lana now. Yeah, yeah, they're trying, they're failing. By the time I was like firmly like, oh, this record is amazing. Paradise EP like just Ooh. came out, and like for a follow up, <sighs> there's real drums. Well, they're in it. they're like connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you get that payoff of real drums on the first song of Paradise, it's like crazy. Holy just and, and then she she did a she. She changed instead of evolved for ultra violence. Yeah. And it did. I, was, I like it, mm. but I like 40% of it. Yeah. I was really excited too. I, was I pre-ordered the motherfucker. Dude. Did you really? Oh, I love born to die and paradise. Yeah. I love them. both. Yeah. I think they're, they're like, what's stellar. the fucking dude. What's the hit that song on paradise that I cannot believe. It's not ride. No, I love Ride, but I think it's Gods it? and Monsters. In the land of gods and monsters. Looking to get fucked hard. Oh. <laughs> Sexy. Oh, dude. Dar- oh, wait. Uh, where is it? Oh, dude. Body Electric. Oh, my God. Body Electric, baby. Yeah. That's amazing. a masterpiece. Perfect record. What's your next one? Wow. Um, let's get this out of the way. Get because around. we're going to disagree, but we're going to agree at the same time. Okay. Oasis, what's the story? Morn glory. I put definitely maybe. I I'm I knew you would. Maybe. And we've talked about this outside of like not even recording and stuff. I think I think I, you're blinded by the singles. But like, I don't like Wonderwall. Like I'm not. 
Well, then, really that, then you're then that's you just discluded the album. No, I didn't because we we have the pound for pound clause. I think I think you I look, think the other songs that are deep cuts, not on the radio, mm. uh, way outweigh how overplayed Wonderwall is. Was whatever. I do, I look at the definitely maybe trackless and I see I see Master Killer. See, I've probably listened to it like five times, dude. It just it just doesn't grab me. It's the same. that's I don't know why. I, but I it's like you're you're brainwashed by time. I think because I but, could sit down with you. If you were sitting in a car with me and I put fucking slide away on, you'd come all over me. I'd be like, what the fuck? You'd be like, sorry, the song's good. Anyway. <laughs> you wish. You I like that you put them at all. I See, here, my most controversial take would be that Be Here Now is the best record. Right. Pound for pound. Especially if it had acquiescent master plan on it, then I, res- I resent the idea that you think you could describe something to me and then I would get it. No, I don't I, think I, that's not what I'm saying. It's like it's like watching a comedy by yourself. It's not as funny. You want to know a true story? Uh, Harmsway went and saw Step Brothers in theaters together, uh-huh. and we all left going, "It was okay." That's how I felt first time. And then later on, I got it for Christmas on DVD, watched it alone, and immediately texted James, and he had also gotten it. And but we that's the like, only other time in your life. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Every other time, like if I watch The Office by myself, I'm watching it like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't laugh. I don't crack a smile. But if You're I got a Brittany Miller here, yeah, 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 we're dying over the over like. Anything. Somebody sneezes. I'm like, kill. I've never heard that sneeze before. It's crazy. (laughs) Um, But yeah, Oasis, I think, is. They belong in this list regardless. Yeah. Yeah. So that that really only speaks to their strength. Oasis is the master killer of Britpop. Britpop. Period. For sure. Yeah. And Um, fuck Blur. Dude, I'm not. Yeah, straight up. I'm not down with Blur. I don't got time for both. Mm. I'm down with Mr. Ashcroft, but I don't need need Blur. I'm good, dude. Uh, (laughs) Speaking of British things, yes, no argument here. The world will the world will go, will nod in unison to this one. Coxbar shock troops, <laughs> the master killer of oi. I mean, it, it must be right. Sequence, production, lyrics, songs, musicianship. I think when we artwork. Oh, the artwork is sick. Camo with a big ass eagle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right up your ass, dude. Oh my god! I think when we talked to the Chisel guys, they didn't even mention Coxbar. They didn't. That's but but it's like. But that's because they like yeah. It's written on the sleeves of their songs. You know? Right. They, they right. don't need to. We 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 are meant to assume that they love shock troops. You know. Yeah. They, they, um, that's, yeah. Take them all. Put, is finish like, the job. It yeah, right. It's in everything that I do. That record take, is in everything that I do. Take them all is is straight up like it gets me pumped no matter what. I could kill a man on the spot. It, it's so it's such an intoxicating song, and obviously I'm sure the first Coxbar song I ever heard was "England Belongs to Me," mm-hmm. which obviously rocks. Mm-hmm. Um, but that record, dude, I Fair. got your number, Riot Squad. Amazing. Shit on side squad. Oh. What's your next one? Um, well, let's stay in England. Stay, this, okay, keep this, me here. I got yeah, one in yeah. England next too. Beautiful. This was a, a later one for me. It's not. It's not going to be what you have. Rolling. This one's for Bruce specifically because he and I have talked about this so much. Okay. Rolling Stones, Beggars Banquet. All right. I'm an I active thought, hater of the Stones. I, I, I'm. I and listen. I thought my entire life, and also being like a crazy who guy because of my mom, right. I thought my entire life that every Rolling Stones song was Jumpin' Jack Flash or Brown Sugar. <laughs> like every, you know what I mean? I thought yeah. everything was just like all The that. worst music ever. The worst, je- yeah, straight yeah. up. Like what you just named were, that's what I look at as the worst music it's, ever. Dude, so I was, exactly. <laughs> the first song on Beggar's Banquet is Sympathy for the Devil, yeah. which like you've heard a thousand times. I fucking hate that song the rest of the record is blues and folk mm. sounds nothing like it i got you the other thing that's sick 
Also, I listen to that record because Street Fighting Man is on it, and that's what Chris Farley picks in Dirty World. <laughs> oh, right. Street I was like, Fighting Man. What, what did he want to fight to? And I put it on, and it would not be a great song to fight to. But right. the Rolling Stones were obsessed with Chicago blues, not like Delta blues or any anywhere else. Okay. Specifically Chicago blues and took Chicago artists with them on tour who are already like old men past their prime and literally put them over to their young fans to be like, Hey, this is where we got it from. You should listen to this and you can watch. So you interviews. think that makes the record master killer tier? I think it makes, well, but, but let's be honest now, part of what makes master killer master killer tier are the individuals in the mindset of the people in the band where they're, where they came but I, from. What I'm arguing up. is take away everything. Look at the record. You're talking, but can you do that? Yes, that's what I'm arguing. That's why but, I'm not. But no, it's you're not because you've got these boxes that you're checking off that are all other superfluous shit. They're not superfluous. They're objective. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I think you can include it, it, the fact that that dudes from was it Somerset, Brooklyn? Yeah, yeah. Like a bunch of guys from the neighborhood made that music makes it more mystical to me. I know I agree. I'm obviously I can't argue that one of the most famous and successful bands ever isn't among the tier of like perfect albums. Yeah. Just cuz I don't give a shit about them. I think they can die in a fucking for sure. Uh, the more I, I learned about them, the more I I like understood blah blah blah, but that record's amazing front to back. Okay. We should send May they each other perish our, in flames. We should send the, each other but, but, our lists after this and, <laughs> and actually listen to those the records. You've heard all this stuff. I've heard most of it, yeah. You're putting some you're putting Beach House on here. I'm putting Bolt Thrower, those once loyal. I mean, I, I didn't put that because I knew you were gonna put you it. Actually, knew I knew I would. Didn't you so you think that one's better than uh would you say your your like go to is Honor Valor Pride? Honor Valor Pride is just the one I put on. Those ones loyal is objectively. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I them agree. At their I, best. Okay, okay. I agree. Period. Production, songs, lyrics, sequence, everything. When cannons fade is the closer. <laughs> the <laughs> the closer of the band, no less. Straight up, you and know, it's like yeah. the cannons fading. It's it's beautiful. It. Uh, That's everything. Booming. To me. Booming. Yeah. Uh, what's next for you? I have so many left. <laughs> it's, no, it's good because I'm nearing the end. Okay. Um, oh, this band has quite a few contenders, but okay. I think Jane Doe is like an obvious mm. front to back. Every song's got the riff. Sure. Production's crazy. Artwork is crazy. The paradigm right. shift is fucking crazy. Sure. The musicianship is crazy. Right. Everything about... Converge Jane Doe, even though I might prefer like You Fail Me over it. I think No Heroes is their best record. It, it, and I think that's totally fair. But I think when you look, I mean, it, some might say it's the master killer of Conver the Converge discography. In terms of popularity, sure. In terms of all the things I just said, because it like, hmm. th like just think about how synonymous the, the Jane Doe Faces. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm yeah. not. I, it's, it's tough to argue about that, but it's not my favorite. Therefore, no, and I don't think it's the best. I think they've only gotten better. Since. I could say the same thing about Metallica. I'm Black Album, but I think Master of Puppets is the best record. It's just not my favorite, not what I put. Yeah, up. but I'm saying I don't think Jane Doe is the best record. That's what I'm saying. Even no. if it was my favorite, I, I think it's, it's like you listen to Axe to Fall, mm -hmm. objectively. Like mm -hmm. they've gotten better at writing music. Yeah, a hundred percent, of course. But I like these. Well, that's actually an interesting point, isn't it? Yeah, because you're music. sitting here saying no, they have better albums. Master Killer, the Marauder doesn't have better albums. That's the best one. You see what I mean? I see what you mean. This is why I, people are putting sinking ships in our response. I need to dig myself out of the hole. Dig it out. Somehow. It's tough to do. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, do I think Converge itself is a master killer tier band? 100%. They have to be. They're, they're unrivaled in their craft. Quite literally. There is nobody that can do that. Yeah. I do. If I put No Heroes or Axe Fall or Partitioning on or something, 
it, it, I can go a year without listening to it, but if I pick it up, I'm like, damn, I could not do this. Nobody I know could do this. Mm-hmm. This shit is crazy. They're on another plane of existence as a band. Mm-hmm. They are to 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 us what like neurosis is to them, as we've said before. You know, where right. we hear that and go, "This is the best shit ever." Yeah, this is crazy. But I don't think Jane Doe is the best one. Nah, I think it is. Uh, one thing I <laughs> you think just said is, it wasn't. Yeah, you just said they got better. I wrote it down though. Um, <laughs> I hey, think respect, uh, I respect a stubborn man. You know? I ca- I, yeah, I just it just seems yeah. I uh I kind of think of I read an article or, or something that Henry Rollins an interview that he did where he talked about how Pink Floyd he thought they were just like actual druids locked away in a tower somewhere writing music because That'd they be didn't cool. they didn't put anything out with pictures. Like that mm-hmm. wasn't a thing. And I remember when people don't realize, like back, like when Jane Doe came out, what was that 2000, 2001? Yeah. When that came one. out, like the internet was around, but like you wouldn't find Converge on the internet. Yeah. So, like, I had no idea what these guys looked like. Yeah, they were like mythical. Or, you know even what I mean? Even now, I, even talking to Kurt was, yeah, on the thing yeah. was like, damn, this motherfucker gross and crazy. So, I, I, I just remember when, and it was the same with American Nightmare, truly. I, I, I don't think. I loved American Nightmare when I was younger. And when I first heard some of those songs, I was like, oh, this West dude must be a fucking like monster. Mm. He sounds like a scary monster. You know what I mean? I thought they were all just like flannel wearing like tough dudes. Like I had no perception because there were said no. They were the best dressed. Yeah, the finest. You still gentleman. ever seen. Yeah, ever. Yeah. And um, so I had that about Converge too. And. Actually, the first thing I, d- I heard was definitely Saddest Day. But anyway, I digress. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll rapid fire a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Because I'm Bad Brains, Bad Brains. You, mm, mm-hmm. You're going to say Rock for Light? I or love, I guess I. I. I think the production on Rock for Light is cooler. It, 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 I, it's better. Yeah. But. The, the the I think this the the trash canness yeah yeah, of yeah the self titled really you I can't I can't argue with it I can't argue with that time and place it's like untouchable yeah river runs red I knew it's kind I of knew. the only thing other thing from that era I can really argue just personally you wouldn't say um, October rust I, I, I didn't. I didn't put down a typo record. Neither did I. But I did but put down retaliation. I assumed we. I assumed we would talk about typo anyway. Yeah. I mean, um, there. So there. I always say, Master Killer is my favorite album. Yeah. Typo is my favorite band. Yeah. Because the discography as a whole is yeah. the Master Killer of music. <laughs> Period. Yeah. You know, they have as many good collections of songs. Yeah. As songs on Master Killer, basically. More, arguably. <laughs> They're going to have more than 10 amazing songs. Typo has more than 10. No, I'm saying almost as many great albums as there are songs on Master Killer. Oh, yeah. Which I think oh, is almost, yeah, yeah. is inarguable. You throw um, a carnivore in there and you're like. And you, it's a, you did it. You, know? you did it, yeah. Um, that's but, I put Retaliation on here because of the front to back Sonic experience. Track for track, songwriting, production, everything. What is so? Do do a typo, like pick, pick one. Yeah. Yeah. Like front to back. I mean, and then all the other considerations: artwork, lyrics, music videos, production. Okay, so I I I can't. Put bloody kisses. No, I wouldn't. There's it, skips on it bloody kisses. It gets very goofy. It gets very goofy. Again, favorite band ever. Mm-hmm. I I'm modeled my life after them to for better or worse. You know? <laughs> uh October Rust. Lewis record uh, October I, Rust. I, isn't it funny that it's it's uh it's Johnny that starts that? Oh, is it really? Like, he like just joined the band, you know. <laughs> But maybe that was a nice thing to do. Like, hey, you're in the band now. Yeah. Why don't you start off the funny little intro? We hope you enjoy it. 
Um, but then, but then, dude, here, here's how I'm gonna lock this in. We hope you enjoy it, dude. Yeah, I, I mean, mean that's crazy. The se- so my experience with typo was much later than you. I, I, I was way more of a punk guy than a metal guy. Yeah. We talked about this, and it was Saba and probably you two, you and your brother, yeah. where I was like, I should check this, you know, blah blah blah. Right. And I, you hear all the hits, and you're like, okay, I get it. You yeah. hear bloody kisses, and you're like, yeah, okay, like I get it, but like. Mm. And it wasn't until I heard Love You to Death where I was like, oh, th- this there's there's way more to this. Like, sure. way deeper. I I used to get really depressed on my birthday. Mm. So, <laughs> this is so stupid. From my, like, 15th birthday on, <laughs> the moment I turn, uh, it hits midnight, yeah. I would take a walk outside to Love You to Death. And just take it in. Like, I'm, I'm still fucking here. On this earth, it's a door. That song has nothing to do with any of that, <laughs> but like it just <laughs> yeah, made yeah. it like it always it grounds me somehow for some reason. Just the connection I have to it. Would you pick World Coming Down over it? I I I'm gonna tell you something. I think front to back, Slow Deep and Hard is the best. Oh, album, dude. I don't actually disagree. I probably actually know more lyrics to all like to slow deep and hard than anything else. The experience of yeah, it, of start to finish, it's it's uh it's like what six or seven actual songs. Six or seven actual songs that each have three parts, like they each have acts in them. And think, your brother explained it. to me that like each song is like a, a form of grieving, mm-hmm. which I didn't know. Yeah, like that that record has a lot of meta to it. A lot of, lot of un- layers of the onion there. One of my favorite. It's not even on here, but I'm like just talking about it. I'm like, fuck, man. Dude, one of my favorite things, and, and then we can move on, is on the, the fake live record. When they play the Jimi Hendrix cover, right? So yeah. Typo had been out, and they, they cover it uh, then right. on Bloody, or on uh, Slow Deep and Hard. And then there was like, t- there, it's been years, right, since Bloody Kisses was done. Or fuck, since Slow Deep and Hard was done. Uh-huh. They do the Jimi Hendrix cover, and there's a part where he says, like, I'm going to kill my baby because I caught her cheating around with another man. And he and Peter just goes, I really don't go for that, really shit. Go for that shit. And, like, that is where such a... Where are you going to go? Dude, that's such a little subtle, like, I know this is crazy. This yeah. is all I've been talking about for the last, like, five years. Yeah, I swear to God, I don't like it. Yeah. But I really don't like it. <laughs> like, it's so fucking funny to me. I just hate the, that you, you never hear the end of Gravity. Like, laugh. Yeah. You know what's crazy is I'm looking at the Twitter and things are coming in. Yeah. And uh, our buddy Brad put the Bloodborne soundtrack as, a as like, a bit <laughs> genuinely on my list. <laughs> I think it's the master killer of video game soundtracks. Really? Yeah, 100%. Over Halo? 100%. Halo has one great track. Oh. Bloodborne is every boss is like the best song you've ever heard. <laughs> like the <laughs> next best song you've ever heard. Okay. Fair. But, but I mean, I did that as a joke too, but I'm also not joking at all. I listen to it every single day. So, you, but just to sum up, you would pick Slow Deep and Hard. Slow Deep and Hard is my pick. Okay. Uh, Candlemas Nightfall. <sighs> the Master Killer of Doom. Wow. Yes. Boom. Dying That's a Fetus. great... That's a great record. Thing. It's perfect. And guess what? Six songs. Explain. You'd for never people know. Who, for people who don't know, explain the lore about the, the switch to the singer. Because you told me that. What do you mean the lore? Just. I, I, I bet you people don't know that they were he, like done. And then oh, he was like, let me. Yeah, do Messiah this. stepped in and was like, please let me sing for the band. Auditioned over the phone. Because he loved them so much. Singing over the phone. Songs from Epicus, Dumicus, Metallicus. Uh, and he was like such a classically trained, uh, in amazing operatic voice that they were like, all right, fuck it. And then he delivered like the most iconic metal recorded singing performance to me. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Of all time. It's perfect. It's unbelievable. And then hearing that this man, while they're playing, kept like double hamburgers, double cheeseburgers in his robe so that they'd be hot by the time they finished playing. Is that true? He's hard lore, dude. He's oh one God. of us. We got to get him. Messiah is <laughs> Messiah. in Ronald's army right with us. <laughs> so I got you got to give him that. Dying Fetus Reign Supreme. Mm-hmm. Knew that was coming. 
It's the master killer of Maryland death metal with yeah. spin kick parts. You know? <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Danzig Lucifuge. Uh, ye- I was debating between one and two. It's two. I think production. Songs. Production's fucking perfect. Sequence. Performance. Dude. Yeah. Two sounds wildly better than one. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Did it, it's, R- it's perfect. Did Rick Rubin do two? I think so. Did he do one? I don't I think, think so. He, really? Okay. Three sounds like hot dog shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. It's I crazy. really don't get into later dancing at all. You don't um, like three? Not, not, not as much. Like, I like it. But it's like, that's where it it's not to, as to I really, mean, it's nowhere near as good, but I think it's awesome. Yeah. But one just dude, like, no, it's two. It's two. It's two. It's two. If you looked at the track list back to back, you'd yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm even. thinking about it in my head and like long way into snakes. Across yeah, it's not even fucking insane. Not even close. I got a, one that you're going to fucking despise. Are you done? Yours are gone. I got a couple more, but you got more. So go for it. I do have a lot. Uh, <laughs> we didn't keep this one short because I know you're going to argue and you it's fine. Cohen came in and keeping secrets. Get the fuck out of here, dude. We don't have to talk about it anymore. It's no, a perfect we record. never need to talk about it. It is a, it is a so perfect happy. piece of music. Production, songs, musicianship, mm-hmm. lyrics. I don't know what he's talking about, but I know it's sick. You know? <laughs> it's I don't know so what he's saying. I fucking... All right. No, it's not. It's awesome. Uh, all Things Must Pass, George Harrison. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's almost cheating because it's a triple LP. Yeah. It's, but I'm just saying, it's almost just like what it, it's the master killer of triple LPs <laughs> written by Beatle members, you know. <laughs> there you go. I mean, he's easily the best Beatle. Best Beatle. And I love Paul McCartney. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. I love Paul McCartney. Yeah. Um. Okay, so one of my ones. I don't know if if we've ever talked about this, but I love the first Crosby, Stills, and Nash record. No, we definitely have not. So it's just nothing but harmonies. Mm. There's one song that's like a little goofy and the rest are like, oh, I've heard this in a ton of movies before. Sure. And I just didn't know. That's what All Things Must Pass was for me. Yeah, exactly. Every single song is in a movie. A movie. It's covered you know, or not. Oh, you know? yeah. It's it's almost like Bob Dylan. I'm not a huge Bob Dylan guy, but again. You know every one of them songs. You know every one of those fucking songs. Yeah, yeah they're all on the just... Big Daddy soundtrack and <laughs> covered by Natalie and Brulia or something. <laughs> fucking you know? bare naked ladies. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, go ahead. I just did one. Satisfaction. Almost the counterpart to Master Killer, isn't it? Because it's fast. It's almost two sides of the same coin. Almost. Not it's really. the other side of that coin. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I think even Josta would say, like, there's probably no satisfaction without Master Killer. Mm. Uh, they covered it. They covered Life is Pain on their cover album. Yeah. Dude, um, that cover album? Cover album is dope. Some might say the master killer of cover albums. <laughs> of cover album? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very good. It's um, very good. It's This was a paradigm shift. Big, well, obviously, yeah. The greatest time. production ever for a hardcore album, maybe. Maybe. The snare's Sequencing. a little high. Snare's pitched a little love high. The, for, I for love the like Jamie Muck- Muckenhop snare, baby. <laughs> Jamie, if you're listening, you know how I feel about you. He timid. There's no me without you. Um, you got a favorite song? Can you just pick one off? Like, Trade My Life, probably. Yeah. Got it. Uh, and then do that. <laughs> yeah, the catch is amazing. That's a feel good moment. I love Ooh. fucking Not One Truth, baby. Oh, that's a great one. That's uh, That to me is like, that's the, the thing that I turned that record on for. That's, I got you. The one, but it's a perfect record front to back. Yeah. Um, if we're talking that too, I think one that's like obvious, but I think it would be silly if we tried to pretend like it wasn't. And and this is very much because there's skips on this record, it's very much the pound for pound argument is Age of Horror. It's it's undeniable. There are songs on the second half of the record that I'll skip. Pardon this interruption, but I believe you know what time it is. It's manscape time. <laughs> Let's tell them what we got today, Bo. We got the all new beard trimmer. Some might say the master killer of male grooming product. <sighs> got me. This bad boy has 
a million settings. So many settings. So many more settings than the average trimmer, which only goes zero to five. This one and goes. And think about it. You got to carry them all. Oh, true. All the little bits and shit. So this true. guy just stays on and you just ratchet them Just like them up. the barbers at the shop with the music and the quartets. Mm. That you could have that at home now. It's basically what we're saying with Code Hardlore, twenty percent off free shipping. They got the lawn mower four point oh, the the go to the the goat to you. You mowed your lawn recently today, but that's none <laughs> of your business. Uh, my favorite is the crop reviver. You just spray them and look <sighs> at that. Shorts on. Wow. Revive. Um, the the beer trimmer came with all these little bells and whistles too. Beer so oil whistles, so balm. Shampoo, conditioner, yeah. brushes. You I'll can get that I- VIP package and so much mm-hmm. more with code HARDLORE, 20% yeah. off and free shipping. It's also whatnot time, but let's talk about whatnot real quick. Let's talk about it. I'm, I'm dying to talk about it. Because because next week, mm. next Thursday, I mm. believe, will be the first ever HARDLORE whatnot. So put it in your calendars now. Click the link below. Join us. We're going to be putting some good stuff up there. What are we thinking? What are you thinking? Maybe a t-shirt? Oh, oh, Maybe five t-shirts. That's what I'm saying. It's like we can we can do some hard lore mm-hmm. for specific items that we have. Mm-hmm. I love that. And then the people get to have them. I'm going to. I'll put a guitar on there. I'm wow, not that. I'm not. that that will fly. Let's see what let's see what it was described to me as. This is this is a good description. Descri- we describe it as cameo what meets eBay, cam- right? But they like to say the most interactive place online to buy and sell hardcore vinyl records and music memorabilia. Wow, what? And why don't you see for yourself tonight after you listen to this? Go to Dan Housen's. What not? He's got one tomorrow at eight thirty Eastern. Mm. Back to the episode. Back to Master Killers. <laughs> and I'm sure there's no Master Killer without Age of Quarrel. Absolutely. I've listened to Age of Quarrel over a thousand times. Easily. I, would say. I mean, for a, for a long time. And I think probably I could still objectively say that's my favorite hardcore record. It, is, it, is, it is way up there. Way up I there. think Bright Side is better than it. I, I don't. I, I would go Bright Side, set it off, Age of Quarrel. Personally. I would put Bright Side on before Age of Quarrel. But That's I just med- like isn't that oh is that just because of the sheer amount of time? I've, dude, I've Quarrel. literally listened to Age of Quarrel so many fucking times. I love it. I know every second of it. I love it to death. But I just this, like this I think argument. About, this isn't what this conversation is, you know. But to you, it is. You're saying me, that this. Is I'm, I'm saying it's you. it's it, it it just like has to be because all of my things too, like the paradigm shift, sure, the fucking lyrics where they're act like they're living on the, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all real and it's all fucking dope. And, you know, no carnivore typo without Chromags, like an AF and stuff. Like, it, it's in there. It's in there. That's arguable. It's the limit, dude. Great song. Great. It's a perfect record. I'm not going to say it's not. It's unbelievable. Uh, it's just different. It's different than the conversation we're having. To me. How? But hey, but if how? that's... How? It just is. It just how? Is. But but what do you mean? It just is when you say fucking Lana Del Rey. Like what are you talking? That's about? the master killer of Tumblr <laughs> post Tumblr indie female pop music. I'm saying that Age of Quarrel is the master killer of late '80s New York hardcore. Okay. When did Brightside come out? '89, I, I think. Let's yeah, see. I know Raw Deal was '87. Let's see. It was in the water in the '80s in New York. Uh, from Aldehyde. <laughs> 89, yeah. Bright Side is, is the master killer of the late 80s, and actually, uh, late 80s New York hardcore to me. Uh, but, but, so I so respect why you, is that? But why is that the conversation? It's not, I'm just, I'm countering, I'm, I'm, I'm going off what you're saying, and I'm, I'm giving my. You're saying what I'm saying is not the conversation we're having. And now, no, I'm and I, but I'm, I'm, I'm folding on that. Okay, okay. And saying, it, okay, I understand that now. Bright Side to me is that. Gotcha. I think it's perfect. So, I love Killing Time. I'm with you. Yeah. Um, King Diamond, them. Interesting. Yeah, that's my favorite King Diamond. Interesting. And I think it's the production, start to finish, songs, musicianship, lyrics, yada, yada, the story, the artwork. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm not a huge King Diamond guy. I could get you. 100%. I think you could. And I, I, that would be one I'm, I'm like open to because I'm ready. 
I, oh, you're, dude, I mean, you're a guitar guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I know. Some of that shit is like. I know, and I like ghosts. You know, like, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm there. I'm in the wheelhouse. You're a child of King Diamond, whether you know it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll get you. Yeah. You got, you got a good one for me? I, I, I'm, I'm waffling on it. Okay. I was going to say the who, who's next, but I'm, okay. I'm changing my mind. I it. can't argue that. So it's yeah, like, yeah, I know. I know it's going to be a boring conversation because you're not a team player, but also I just I'm think a team like, player. I just don't know. Yeah. I have no argument to that. If you, I can't tell you you're wrong. Yeah. I'm I just changing my right. mind on it. I'm not, I, yeah. Okay. I got a crazy one. Okay. Justin Timberlake, future sexy sex bet? love sounds. Oh man. Do you remember when that came out? It changed everything. It really honestly did. It and changed it was like, the world for a few years. And it was like, oh, this guy is like cool. <laughs> like yeah. he's not like a, a, a boy band dude only. No, but it's which is hilarious because like every single one of those songs was for sure written by somebody else, probably for somebody for- else. <laughs> and it's still like it's just this perfect thing that he struck gold with. Love that record. It's perfect. Yeah. That's a that's a really good one, honestly. That's a very yeah, it's a very good one. Thank you. All right, I got two more. Hit me. I got about fifteen more. That's fine. <laughs> Alice in Chains, dirt. You Are got you, you got one of mine. Finally, Are you fucking kidding me, man. Perfect it, it, production, I, I, <sighs> songs, sequence, lyrics. You know he one. means that shit. Yeah, He's yeah, dead so, yeah. because yeah. of all that. Yeah, straight up. Nothing and more like, provable than that. I and and like you, we've talked about this too. Like I'm I'm into Pearl Jam, and like even if they're kind of different scenes, whatever. I'm not a huge Nirvana guy, but I get it. Out of all like Soundgarden, all that shit from that era, blah blah blah. Allison Change is the only one to me that like it's still right there. I I feel Pearl Jam Ten is as good as good as Dirt. Those are both my. My bright side and Age of Quarrel, if you will, <laughs> okay. of that. Um, I love Ten. I mean, that's the ten, only Pearl Jam. They're, they're, really they're like, both yeah. zero skips. Yeah. Perfect production. Yeah. Perfect performances. Perfect songs. And perfect lyrics. I'll also venture to say that Allison Chains, before Lane died, and it's not that I don't like the new stuff, because I do like the one record quite a, quite a bit. The Dinosaur with Lane, one or whatever? The Dinosaur one, yeah. I like yeah. that record. Uh, with Lane... No bad releases. No. They're zero, all, zero skips, period. Period. Dude, the, the Jar of Flies EP? Zero skips. Unbelievable. Same production, so it's per, still perfect. Yeah, yeah, so it's still perfect. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you 100%. Big fan. Um, what's next here? Machine Head Burn My Eyes. That is actually the craziest one you said. Really? Yeah. You think it has skips? No. Yes, I do. <laughs> Production? Production, literally incredible. Perfect. No, ar- no argument there. Sequencing, to me. Fine. I'm just, like, no, I have no argument. Yeah. Yeah. yeah lyrics. I mean, lyrics. I mean, like, Davidian's, like, cool. You know, like, like yeah, he's got cool lyrics and stuff. But I just, like, I musicianship, insane. He's mm-hmm. an insane guitar player. Oh, yeah. And... I know it's not the same record, but like singing and playing on the first song on the blackening is genuinely. Dude, really the blackening crazy. is incredible. The blackening is very. Now, Why is it so good? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I really don't know. Ten How did minute they do song that right off the rip, and it's so good. But yeah, I don't. I think Burn My Eyes has some has some skips. That's. I think that's just a record that didn't. Oh my god! I just remembered another record. What? Sepultura, <laughs> Chaos. A D. If you could see that it was next on my list, you'd. I just well, I, I'm. I almost said compare that to Chaos A D. You know, and I just like, oh wait a minute. Production, <sighs> songwriting, sequencing, everything, lyrics. Yeah, lyrics. It's probably is. It's probably Max's fifth fucking language, and he's writing the smartest shit I ever read. You know, the heartbeat in the beginning is Zion. It's his son, <sighs> or it, actually, it might be Igor. One of his gorgeous, songs. Gorgeous. It's, it's like Igor and Max, Jesus friends of the show, um, writing a record that changed our lives. I can confidently say that there would be no harm's way without Chaos AD yeah. and Master Killer. Yeah. 
Those like like when we would write songs, even in the early days with like the other two guys who like started the band with us, John and John, mm-hmm. all we all loved Master Killer and all loved Chaos AD. Like that was like a unanimous thing. Chaos AD was maybe the first domino for me. The first that's, thing where I was a, like, "That's a cool word." Like Gr- Grimlock was the first hardcore band, which is always which so is hilarious. Insane. Yeah. But Chaos AD was bef- was before that, because those songs were around for some reason, and that was the thing where I was like, "This is this is what I like." Where where is more of this? So it was maybe if it wasn't the first domino, it was probably the biggest domino. You know what the first domino was for me for sure? It was AFI for sure. Wow. There's a video of them opening with "Through or Bleeding We Are One," you know, and like. They're just like going off and people are going insane. I remember Chris had it on his, on his computer and I was like, what is that? Mm. Like, that looks awesome. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, KSED that, can't, it's perfect. can't be, can't be overstated. Don't, you can't argue that. Mm-mm. I got one that maybe doesn't count. Okay. But you tell me as a misfits guy, if you'll allow it. Oh, gladly. The unreleased 12 hits from hell. Oh, you you prefer those versions? Oh, I love them. Interesting. I also think this the production like the production's better. The sequencing is better. The ch- the selection of songs is better. Yeah, I wonder if they even put thought into sequencing at that time. Like I I wonder too because yeah. whatever sequence I have hit me with is, the track. I think I, is here. Let me see. It I don't know I, it off the top of my head. As I have it. Yeah. I, like I look at this and I go, okay, well, this is like objectively their best collection of songs. Let's see okay. uh, your library. Well, if it's from hell, Halloween, undeniable. Yeah, Vamp- vampire, vampira. I'm not a huge vampire, but go on. Yeah. I turned into a Martian. Unbelievable. Skulls. Unbelievable. <laughs> London Dungeon. Unbelievable. Night of the Living Dead. Incredible. Horror Hotel. Hotel. <laughs> Amazing. Ghoul's Night Out. Un-fucking believable. Astro song. Zombies. Perfect song. Where Eagles Dare. Perfect fucking Violent song. Violent World. Amazing song. Halloween 2. Way ahead of its time. London cool Dungeon. Song. London Dungeon again? Did I already say that? Okay. No, it says alternate take, London Dungeon. Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, Halloween 2, really cool. Ahead of its time. I, I'm a static age guy, and even that kind of doesn't count. Nah. You well, know what I mean? Like a, it's a comp. You know, it's it, well, they both are yeah. right, but it's a comp of songs that were written and then released way later. Right. So remember the, the, the conversation we had at the beginning where it was like, I got lifeless plague later on and discovered there's another song. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that already being a misfits fan and then finding out here's a whole record. I can't Whoa. even imagine that. Um, I was really listening to famous sponsors re- earlier in the week or like last week, dude, <laughs> <laughs> Some might say <laughs> the master killer of post Glenn Misfits, dude. I mean, every it's song, crazy. Every song has a hook. Every song is insane. Fiend Club would get anyone moving. Oh, oh, oh. and it's just it just smells like Teen Spirit. <laughs> oh, like na, 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 na. Yeah, right. Na, na, wow. na, na, na. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so. That, that's my cheating answer. Okay, that's fine. Because I think, but it's it's real to some people. It exists. It's out there. You know. Mm-hmm. Here's a crazy one. Green Day, Dookie. All right. I get I that, ha- I, and it's fine. I'm not like sitting here listening to it. No. Okay, that's a valid point. Yeah. So I. For some reason, and if this isn't even really true, it was just like in my brain growing up, you had to, in, in my like middle school, you were either a Blink-182 guy or a Green Day guy. See, and I hated, I beefed the Blink-182. And guys. I was all Blink-182. I'm a Which, Gilman guy, you know? It made me poser, you know what I mean? Yeah. I poser. So, I, like, I get it. And and don't get me wrong. When I hear the songs. You're it, like, damn, I know that one. Yeah, the, like, yeah, exa- yeah. exactly. Yeah, so like I can't. told it's the same thing with Nirvana for me. I, I have never mind on here, but it's like I don't personally like I think they've written better things. Uh, absolutely. But it's tough to argue against the impact. Yes. But we're talking perfect albums. 
We are. So I don't need to. I really don't need Dookie or Nevermind on there as my Ooh. personal picks. I'll tell you what I do need. What? Far Beyond Driven. Wow. You picked that over Vulgar. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm on board. I'm on board. I just thought you would be a little more of a no. terrorist. No. Okay. I, I never put Vulgar on. I do, but Far I Beyond Driven I never put is, Cowboys on either. I love Cowboys. But I Far Beyond on, Driven is the one for me. Far Beyond that was Driven the one where or I was like, Killer, what I'm putting on. Okay. Far Beyond Driven was the one where I was like, oh, this band is like not, they're not heavy by accident like some no. thrash bands were. No. They're a, a heavy band. They're like, this shit is fucking hard. We grew no. into a monster. Yes. They know they're hard and they embrace it rather than hide from it. Yeah. It's, I think it may, have, someone pointed out, it may have been you, honestly, that like they got more and more extreme with every release. Yes. Uh, the, the other the day. Pop, more popular they got, the more extreme they got. That's, that's crazy. Fucking crazy. Yeah. Aaron Osborne and I were just in my living room listening to Pantera the other night. Just like, playing our favorite Pantera songs. That's and of crazy. course, the first one was Suicide Note 1 and 2. Those are, those are my favorite Pantera songs. I mean, those... Not on this album, but, you know. No, yeah, yeah. But, but like... Dude, have you looked at the Pantera set list from the shows? It's like? fucking amazing. But the only thing that they do, I know why they do it. I get it. I've heard the live record. Play all of Domination. Yeah, they don't do that. Come on, man. Right. That song is so fucking dope. I know. And I've seen a video of him playing the solo, so I know he can. Right. I think they. It looks like they've been playing less songs. <laughs> There's a lot of songs, but yeah, the the set list is crazy. And now that new uh, level, mouth for war, strength beyond strength, becoming with throws of rejection in tr- outro. I'm broken. Use my third arm. Five minutes alone. This love yesterday. Don't mean shit. Fucking hostile. Cemetery gates. Planet caravan. Walk cowboys from hell. Domination hollow. <laughs> but the only thing that sucks is also is cemetery gates. It's not real. It's like that's during the video, like tribute. They don't actually play or sing it. Nobody can play that. Who cares? No, I, I, you know? I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Uh, I love Far Beyond Driven. What do you got? It's crazy how long this episode is. It's pretty funny. Okay, we well we can wrap and get to. No, that. I don't give a fuck. We're okay, gonna go cool. through fucking sinking yeah. ships and whatever other people <laughs> fucking. Sing is. I got a few Christ. more. All right, I got one that I know we both agree on, but this was this was. Um, a consideration when it came to the one skip, even though I don't skip the song. Thriller. Absolutely. Some say the master killer of music. Uh, pop music yeah. <laughs> I, I would. I, here's the thing. I'm going to say I think you're bad a bad is, guy. I think you're bad, a bad is guy. better. A better album. I'm, I, I, I don't disagree, but I think when it comes to all the other considerations, Just the I landscape think, of music as a whole. Yeah. yeah. And uh, a lot of the times the one that is skipped is the duet with Paul McCartney. Girl is mine. It's so boring. Dude, you really think so? I don't I, give a fuck about that. I song. love that song. It's just I like, it's like, Paul, why are you arguing you think? with Michael Jackson? <laughs> Paul, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Dude, I love that, that song. That girl is too young for Paul McCartney. <laughs> if, if Michael's in here. So that song is perverted and period. Okay? Bad is bad. A ratio <laughs> to, bad. To be, f- to be fair, that girl's probably too old for Michael, too. So <laughs> that could be. Could be. Uh, Van Halen, nineteen eighty four. Wow. Yeah, the master killer of music. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good pick. Start to finish production. The lyrics are silly, but that's what you want. But that's you know? that's just yeah. That's, that's the idea. Of the yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to fucking yeah. I want to feel good. You know. Mm. I cannot believe sinking ships. <laughs> Let's talk about rumors. <laughs> Yeah. Is that on your list? I mean, it I I took it off for some reason, but it's mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's the master killer of music. Of <laughs> <laughs> is that 70s rock? Is that yeah. what that would be? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, it's uh, it is it, like the best music ever. It has one of the quickest skips of all time for me. Which one? Oh, daddy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Get the fuck out. But everything else. Everything else is so good that it's like, oh, even uh don't stop. I could I could I would I would maybe pay a monthly subscription to never hear Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. everything else. Every, is, yeah, yeah. But that's just because you've heard it a thousand times and Bill Clinton used it on his campaign. It's just like whatever. <sighs> he was thinking about 
the old sucky sucky he was getting tomorrow. <laughs> I am cutting that out for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can't say that anymore. You can't say sucky sucky anymore. <laughs> Uh, I got a, I got a crazy one for you. I want the controversy. I think the controversy ones are more interesting. It's just like, why am I saying this? You know, why is this white man saying Paramore brand new eyes is master killer tier <laughs> music, you know, but it is production sequencing. <laughs> What's the cover? The butterfly, the butterfly. Okay. Okay. It's a great record. It's crazy. It's crazy. She is. Those honkies were. They snapped with that one. <laughs> She's probably pound for pound the most talented person of our generation. Uh, in like Easy. in our world yes. at all. Like it's unfucking believable. Yeah, she is a genius. Quite, quite literally. A, and a so talented. Yeah. Do you like any hip hop? Uh, I like. Like Illmatic and yeah, yeah, I like Onyx back to fuck up a lot. <laughs> uh, I like Bone Thugs mm-hmm. a lot. I just I realized that we're like own like we're not talking about hip hop at all, and I'm sure we're staying people, in our lane a little. But bit, it's just know? yeah, it's just not my thing. That's not wanna... our business, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. that's it's not. We are not the qualified. Yeah, it's uh, not up to us to say no. Liquid Swords isn't yeah. Master yeah, Killer. Yeah, like that's. Yeah. I don't. I have no stake in that fight. Therefore, you tell us what yeah. you think. You know, yeah. It is what it is. Now, what I do have a say on <laughs> <laughs> is Jimmy Eat World, Bleed American, being oh the master killer God. of early two thousands. God, <sighs> are you kidding me? No. Skips. What's, what's your track? For me, it's. It's obvious. What? Praise chorus. Mm. Can't beat it. I love, I mean, as sickening as it is, I love Hear You Me. Oh, really? Yeah. Also, what is it called? Get it, gets it faster? Get it faster? Um, I'm not. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Dude, praise chorus. After the crimson and closer part, and it goes mm-hmm. back to the I'm on my way, and it gets open D. Oh, my. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, real perfect record, perfect record, front to back, master killer of early two thousands post <laughs> emo Arizona rock. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for me? Uh, I'm winging it now, so I've given you all of mine. Okay, I got. Keep going. Five more. Okay, perfect. It makes me think of others, so it's like it's valid. Okay. I interestingly have not said a single youth crew band because I realized that. Youth Crew is not the master killer of subcultural. Music. None of it is master killer tier, is the truth. That is the, well, Floor Punch might be, but I don't know if you can really call that Youth Crew. You can. Yeah, no, I mean, I wouldn't. It's so hateful and awesome, you know? Yeah, yeah. But th- I think that's Youth what, Crew is, is what early like, youth of today wants to. Come on, but it's still, no. there was still like a, a, a come on <laughs> aspect to it, <laughs> where Floor Punch is, fuck you. You know? Yeah. I get it. Uh, Tears for Fears. Songs. From, from the, big, the big fucking chair, dude. <sighs> Holy shit. No skips. That's another band where you'll listen to that record and go, oh, I know all of these songs because oh, it was in a thousand this. movies. Yeah. Dude. It sounds like a compilation of the best songs ever, but it's just an album. It's just their record. Yeah. It's crazy. <sighs> wow. That's a great pick. That might be your best, like, so I, I I didn't even think about it that you oh. said. That might be my favorite selection. This one might, I mean, this is modern, but it's Postal Service give up, dude. I feel I must interject here. You're getting carried away feeling mm-hmm. sorry, sorry for your Un- these Bing, bing, and gaps in his I'm history. going to the fucking 10th anniversary Are thing. You? It's or like, 10th. It's got to be more than that. 20. 20. 20, yeah. You know, cry like a little baby. Oh, yeah. when they play that, it better be Jenny Lewis. Who does oh. it? Van Nuys fucking legend. Jenny oh, is she from Van Nuys? Yes, wow. dude. Wow. Uh, um, yeah. I Come on. 
keep going. No, I had one and I lost it, but keep going. Trevor Jones and Randy Edelman, the last of the Mohicans score. <laughs> Dude, Elk Hunt? You're it's not the beating ma- Elk Hunt. It, it's the master killer of movie scores. Un- and then, da, 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 da. it's Un- perfect. It is. It is quite literally perfect. It is I, the master killer of movie scores. It's very interesting to me that um, someone who writes scores can. I mean, when we were in Florida and you showed me the ten-minute version of the Pirates of the Caribbean song, it's amazing to me that, like you said at the beginning of the conversation, that they can take one riff. And make you see things. Yeah. Like, like they put you there. There's a visual aspect to to the sounds that they give to you. Uh, unbelievable. And that's why music is so important in, in these visual in this visual medium. You know? Outstanding. I love that. Oh, I do have one. I, I remember the one I was thinking of. Hit me. And I think you agree. We bonded over this once. Depeche Mode Violator. Oh. <sighs> How dare I forget that? Dude. You had something to hide. Should have hidden it. <laughs> something that was pointed out to me. <laughs> dude, un- unbelievable. They put that record out 10 years ten into years. their career. I pointed that out to you. You pointed that out to me. That made me, that was like, hey, don't give up because Depeche Mode was 10 years in when Violator came out. Straight up. Don't give up. And And that goes to my understanding of what the Master Killer tier is like. That's sea changing. That's has an impact. It, the art, the vibe, the production, everything. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, this is maybe the only modern hardcore record I'm putting in. Okay. And I've got some context. Okay. It's King Nine scared to death. Okay. When you see them, it makes sense. It really like they're playing. They could play this record start to finish anywhere. And a few hundred people would be there like it was the like it came out yesterday. Mm. Same for for Master Killer. I think it has parallels to Master Killer in the like ethos of the song start to finish. Sure. The lyrical content, the the sequencing, the production's amazing. The the musicianship is it's like the 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 guys that are the are that are perfect at their thing. Mm. Um, they can play this record forever. Only as much as I like Death Rattle, I love it. I think it's like one of the best Close Casket records, as I said mm-hmm. in last week's episode. Scared to Death is, and, and arguably, with some bias. The master killer of the of the twenty tens. Ooh, okay, interesting asterisk. I like that. I'll I'll put my two thousands ones. Just get them out of the way because I think they're they're probably obvious. But ill blood, first terror LP, one with the underdogs. I think is like. Quite- I would say I would say one of one with the underdogs it, to me. Oh, one with the underdogs and hundred demons self titled. Are the master killers of Dude, the 2000s. James and I were just talking about the self titled 100 Demons record. It's perfect. that has quite literally zero skips, no and skips. that is a dense record. Yes, riffs, production. Yes, oh man, it's the master killer of the 2000s. I love, like, genuinely adore the fact that they were kind of one band with Bruce and then a, another band. With Pete, kind it's of, fucking, just like stylistically really cool. and songwriting. There, it's like Bruce, in the eyes of the Lord, is this fucking perfect, dark, mm-hmm. scary piece of music, mm-hmm. you know? For for different reasons than self-titled is scary. Yeah, yeah. And then self-titled is this, like, modernized, melodic opus. And it's a, it's it really is two completely different, perfect bands. Yeah. That, that and like both of those sonic experiences shaped me as a musician, as a songwriter, everything. Like they shaped you, what I want from hard music. When that when the second record came out, the self-title came out, we listened to it 
constantly. Because it had the, all the stuff that I wanted the at stuff. the time. It had yes. sing-along parts from the video. It had, like every aspect of what I wanted out of heavy music at that point in my life, and still today, was all on that record. And sequencing. Dude. Crazy. Crazy Perfect opener into the perfect next song, into the perfect next song. <laughs> Lyrics that the like the both of those records and yeah. the As the Lord and self titled are like the guy those they mean what they are saying. There's no bullshit. Provably, I know you Bruce is listening right now. So I want <laughs> him to know how we feel. Okay. Yeah. So take that, Bruce. What a band. One of the that's greats. A, that's a perfect discography. Perfect discography. Never did a bad thing. My last yeah. submission would be Warning, Watching from a Distance. Dude, I got into Warning because of you guys, you and your brother. And I believe that's the one that I know. It's the one. It's the one, yeah, okay. It's, it is perfect start to finish. Yeah, talk about it. Production. Sequencing, there's five songs, but it's an hour long. Right. But each song is like brilliantly structured around a bridge that absolutely demolishes your yeah, emotions. Just, yeah, yeah. Destroys you. Uh the the lyrics are like the most profoundly personal things you've ever heard. Mm -hmm. The 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 footprints bridge, I think, is the best bridge ever written by a musician. Ever? Uh, ever. Wow. Any genre, any band, any song. It's it's warning footprints. Best bridge ever. Wow. I'm surprised you didn't say Toto. I oh, don't think a single Toto record is thoroughly perfect. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. We're talking master. I think hit on a like hits. Yeah, uh, hits are crazy. Hold the Line, Rosanna, Africa, I think are all on four. I think it's all. Uh, I don't think Hold the Line is, but I think. Rosanna and Africa are on four. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, it's insane. And I pay, I mean, as Van Eyes mm -hmm. legends, I, I respect them immensely, you know? Mm -hmm. It's it's Paul Abdul, Toto, and God's hate. That's what we got, <laughs> you know? And Jenny Lewis. Uh, uh, yeah, to Hold the Line was was uh, self-titled. Oh, interesting. But Africa and Rosanna were one record. That man reinvented the shuffle beat. As a as like the second single, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, know? yeah, crazy. Be all the way. And then they played on Thriller because they're just no, there's nobody better than them. It's unbelievable. I'm trying eight to think one, if there's eight, a, bitch. Is there anyone yeah. we're forgetting, like any major records for you that you're forgetting. Like I'm thinking, why don't we go movie? through ah. the the user submissions now and see what we might have missed? There's about yeah. five hundred responses to this really yes which is too many that's far too many the first one was sinking ships that i see here <laughs> and i can't believe it do, we, we, do you know any of those sinking ships guys no and i I've, and neither i'm do sure I, so. one of them was yeah. in black breath who is fucking incredible black breath loveliest man. fellas but i have to imagine even sinking ships is like master killer guys come on yeah okay. you know I'm I'm talking I'm talking Van Halen 1984. Yeah, we we said thriller and yeah. rumors. Thriller. It's and like that's like I, I singing ships. Please don't take this as disrespect. But we wouldn't put our own bands. No, anywhere near that. Anywhere area. near this. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? What's people are saying? Perseverance. No heroes. Right Dude, I, I love perseverance, but all the way through. It's a long record. It's a long record. It's it's damn near perfect. Exactly. I don't think the production's as good as Satisfaction. Nope. And, I, and, and that, I would, that's one box unticked, you know? I think Rise is better. I think it's Rise a better record. It's so fucking sick. It's so fucking good. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> um, I, you didn't say Death Threat, which is surprising. Peace of Security. Um, yeah. uh, while I think... Man, that's a tough call. Because I would call it the best hardcore record of the 2000s. It came out in the 2000s? Yeah. I don't know. 
timeline of Death Red very well. I think it might have been 2000. Wow. Let's see. Take me all the way. <laughs> February 15, 2000. Damn, I'm good. Wow, that's that's almost uh, 23 years ago. Yeah. Just, just uh, I guess maybe it has to be because I'm saying that nothing else that decade can, is is better than it. You wouldn't put the you would put Lois of the Low over it? No. Interesting. I love Lois of the Low. Love yeah. one with the underdogs. Peace yeah. and Security is the best hardcore LP from 2000 to 2010. They would probably agree with you too. Terror? Yeah. I guarantee you they would. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Scott would say fucking hot water music or something <laughs> yeah. is the master killer of of, of music. Sick bastard. Uh, somebody said downward spiral is the master killer of industrial. How do you feel about that? I don't. I don't agree. Hmm. I don't think downward spiral is awesome. Is downward spiral the one with the big hit on it? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's amazing, but like, it's got skips. It's very long. It's uh, kind of hard to listen to. It's like heavy. But in, like in an emotional way. Somebody <sighs> said blacklisted. No one deserves to be here more than me. Hmm. I think that's like the fourth. But I like it. I pre-ordered it when it came out. I was in the pit for the, the fiddle song. <laughs> that would maybe be my fifth favorite blacklist. Heavier than heaven was. Was a paradigm shift, though. Yep. Absolutely. It's not it's not master killer to me personally, but it was to many people. Do you I have every color of the LP of it. Even more on um, um, Peace on Earth, War on Stage. Thank you. Yeah, that was like kind of a paradigm shift too. Top ten hardcore seven inches ever, maybe. Wow. Personally, wow. wow. But I yeah. I can't I can't say like I loved how hard it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I feel like they got less hard, mm-hmm. and it was on it was on purpose. Yeah, it th- seemed th- intentional. And that's yeah, okay. You know, absolutely. I get it. Radiohead, okay computer. I, are you into Radiohead at all? No, I like Creep because I'm white, but that's yeah, about it. You know, I don't like Radiohead at all. Yeah. Patrice Sorry. O'Neill was right about that. You know? Sorry, guys. We like it. We're Creeps. <laughs> Leeway Desperate Measures, very close. I had a, a talk with someone recently about Leeway in general. And... Do you not care? I I did care. And I, then I just kind of like very organically kind of evaporated from my mind. Yeah. Maybe I need to revisit. I do love Desperate Measures. I think it is the superior album of the, of the big two. Yeah. But I don't know if it's Master Killer to me. And that's what this is about. I wonder if, if Marauder would say. I I would think that maybe they yeah, would. You yeah. know, which that is like, was, that's an interesting thing too. It is. In, in its own but way. it's like... No, no, I'm, I know. Bands, bands out, outdo their influences every day. Of course, that's how it goes. You take what you learn from ten different things and make a better version of it. Oh, um, a bunch of shit I never fucking heard. Let's see what is it. it say some. <laughs> Toots and the Maytals, Funky Kingston. Toots and Maytals, yeah. That's yeah. real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought that was a Longmont. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, it's like early. Somebody putting Dugan Nash reggae, on here first? Reggae Scott, yeah. How about oh, okay. Old Sash? All right. Hey, cool. Oh, man. London Calling. Dude, um, amazing cuts. Mm-hmm. But I don't think all the way through it's. it's I don't care helpful. enough to put that on here. You know? I do. I do. I, I, I'm like a, I'm a punk guy, you know? And, sure. And British punk is, that's the one. Kind sure. Of. No, I mean but, I agree, but I'm not putting a fucking class shirt on though. No, you know? no, for sure. But like, I could see it being in consideration. I just, I, I wouldn't sure. put it on there for sure. Crime ridden society, a lot, a lot of submissions for crime ridden society. I think integrity is the best Clevo band, and I just don't think there's. Any- I think crime ridden society is the best Clevo record, hundred percent. But I would the master killer say of Clevo here. Yeah. I don't think that's tough to say because I love I love seasons I love systems 
but Master Killer? I could see the argument. Production start to finish. Start to finish. Yeah. I ain't never finished one of them. You know? I okay. couldn't tell you the I couldn't tell you the last song on Those Who Fear Tomorrow right now. Is it Judgment Day? The first song? The la- I couldn't tell you the the closer on any of these four records. Got you. Uh probably. And to me that's that's the mark, you know? Hmm. I know the last song on any of those records I just I just talked about. That's a really that's a cool like we say a record and you go, what's the last song? That's that that's kind of I like that. Okay. It's fun. Okay. Coffee is the master killer of beverages. Not true. Like I saw that and I'm I was saving my response. You disagree? You ever heard of a little company called Coca-Cola? Yeah, because they it's like track one, Coke Zero. Co- track two, <laughs> Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Track three, Sprite. Cherry you know? Coke. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> Come on. It's Coca-Cola. I, if you had I to liked pick- it though, because I, you know, you yeah, could yeah. do that with coffee too. If you track had to, but three, it, track one, caramel macchiato. Track two, <laughs> America. Quad shot latte. You know? But if you had to pick to get rid of one for the rest of your life, all Coke products or all coffee products? I'd get rid of Coke. Wow. Yeah. But you ain't having a coffee with pizza, brother, and you have pizza every Friday. I'd have a Dr. Pepper, you know? Ah, fuck. Good pivot. Great Good pivot. pivot. And, or a fucking Baja Blast, you know? Uh, <laughs> what? Kill them all. A lot of people said kill them all. How do you feel? There, about that? Uh, uh, there are definitely people who are trolling me because they know how I feel about it. It's that. just so stupid. It's just it's a it's a it's a really glorified. It's I've not their best record. It's not even their fifth best record. It's yeah, I agree. I agree. Reload I agree. is better than Kill 'Em All. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> That is fucking crazy. But it's a little like bombastic, me, so whatever. But I, I don't. I really don't like Kill 'Em All. I, 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 I get it, but it's just like not my thing. I'm, I'm shocked you didn't say I saves the day record. I was oh, okay. That was another one I was thinking about. Okay. For me, it's through being cool. A lot of people would say stay what you are, but through being cool, stay what you are has three great songs on. Uh, untrue. Like wholeheartedly agree, but I think through being, I, I actually think "Say What You Are" has zero skips, but I think through being cool, through being cool has cooler zero skips. The, the thing is, sense. I don't like that genre of music right. at all. Right. I think it sucks, and I right. love through being cool. So that be- should speak volumes. It does. It, it's got melody and harmony everywhere, yeah. and like fast, interesting riffs. And the songs, like, the songs yeah. are like objectively amazing. But they're two very... It's apples and oranges, really, to it compare is, it the, is. those two records. At Your Funeral, though. One yeah. of the best songs I've ever heard. Burn. Um, Crazy. And just just because I, someone's going to say something, I would say From Here to Infirmary by Alkaline Trio is my Alkaline Trio. You think it's Master Killer tier? Absolutely. Okay. Especially... I, if, you know like, I can't even... In, in, like, Chicago, too? Yeah. Well, speaking of Chicago, a lot of people put "Take This to Your Grave." How do you feel, Fallout Boy? I vividly remember when "From Under the Cork Tree" came out, mm. and that was a nuclear bomb. Right, In that Chicago. was all, dude. That was all anyone listened to. Every school, walk of life, every single person was listening to that record. So I like wow. "Take This to Your Grave," but "From Under the Cork Tree" is is their master killer. For sure, would I say? Yeah, it, it is. Although there's a couple, there's a couple skips. Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, that that was like a big deal, in and out of hardcore, like whatever. Everyone was like right. on that that bandwagon. Beach Boys, Pet Sounds had a lot of that. I love Pet Sounds. It's very tough to argue against that. It's one of those things where you're just kind of like, it's like Dark Side of the Moon, where you're just kind of like, yeah, I guess so. Like, I, I can't. If I was at the mall and they were playing Pet Sounds start to finish, mm-hmm. I'd be like, damn, I know this one. Yeah. Damn, right. that's it's, on it's this? A no, damn, it's I know one. that one. It's, it's, it's the, one the, the songs are bigger than the album, mm-hmm. so you don't think about it. But the fact that that is an album is kind of insane. Are you an ACDC guy at all? Fuck no. So I'm not even a little bit either. 
<laughs> but that's another, you know, back in black. Of course. It's like another <laughs> one of those where it's like, yeah. oh, I know 80%. And of that's the crazy because that's second singer. Yeah, right. Yeah. Whew. Crazy. Unbelievable. Yeah. Sounds the same. Third, we got uh we got third eye blind self-title a lot. Couple skips. Couple skips. Couple big I, I like skips. Like confident skips. Yeah. Like couple I don't hits. Like, couple hits. But when I, I'm not putting it on to finish it. I'm putting no. on to I put narcolepsy, something else, and then I go <laughs> back to Master Killer, you know? I go back to where I belong. And I, I go back to where I'm I'm called, you know, where I'm respected. Uh <laughs> This is interesting. Bringing it down. I have mixed feelings on Judge as an adult man. Um, And after the thing that you and I saw in Richmond once. Yeah, but this is about the record. I know, I know, I know, but I can't help it. Sure. But then after that, dude, AF doing... Yeah, live at CBG. We start to fi- start to back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say an AF record. Actually, it's I'm torn because uh, like or Madball. Actually. I love both bands, basically their entire discographies. Mm-hmm. But I would say One Voice is is their best record. But is it? I don't think it's necessarily Master Killer tier. I would say set it off or like hold it down are 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 pretty much perfect hardcore records. I'm not. I don't think that they're. I don't think they're better than Master Kill. And, I, and I it's think, like again, there's different scales that I have to judge these. I, I agree with you because this is a this is the kind of thing where I'm saying remove yourself from hardcore and what you know about this and look at the song, the product, the yeah. product as a whole. Mm-hmm. I will say a small caveat. I think Can't Stop, Won't Stop is possibly the best hardcore song ever written. It's got everything. And it's so fast. It just and it's like under like two minutes. Yeah, it's crazy. It, front to back. Lyrics. It's got fast part, sing along part, heavy part, scary lyrics. Like, come the fuck on. Yeah. Amazing song. A lot of crazy stuff, man. I, hit guy, me with the crazy stuff. That's this what guy I sent a, a big note, so I want to read it because it, he put a lot of time into it. Okay. American Football LP1. Mm-hmm. I don't know shit about that shit. It's Illinois. So is it good? It's not my... It's like straight up emo, very guitar-y emo. Okay. It's not, not really my thing. The The dude, Mike, who was in it and then who did Owen is like incredibly talented. Mm. Crazy guitar player. Yeah. But yeah, it's not really it. And then he put the dying fetus to destroy the opposition as the next thing, which like I'm not going to argue against that, but I don't think it's their best record. I th- it's maybe you it's think a classic record. You think Rain Supreme is? I think Rain best? Supreme is the best like piece of music that they wrote. Yeah, yeah. Earl sweatshirt and then a bunch of letters. No idea. No. Uh, Frank Ocean Blonde never really. I people fucking love. Frank Ocean. I've only heard a I've potato flew around, around my room. My room. <laughs> That's the only With, one I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, and then he put God's hate, God's hate. So thanks for that. What a guy. Again, can't champ. Can't comment. Well, it's uh, just like it's just like no. That's not that's not for me to talk about, you know. You know what it would be a good so actually you answered it. The most recent record that you would say is that tier is the King Nine record. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And just in terms of like the legacy that it's left behind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have heart songs to scream at my son. He said, uh, <laughs> that's not the name of that record. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've called it for 15 years. I can't, oh, okay. I can't call it anything else. Hot uh, mulligan. You'll be fine. What the yeah, fuck is that? I don't, that that's a genre of music that I don't know at all. What is that? It's, um, hot mulligan. Yeah, it's like a like kind of poppy, punky ish stuff. You'd have to you'd have to zell me, brother. Um. <laughs> oh, I thought of one that that made me think of one, and I I mean this with no hyperbole. I I cannot believe this record, Citizen Youth. Oh, okay, I fucking love that record. 
front to back, not a single skip. There's a hook in every single song. Musicians hit production. Matt's singing is incredible. Matt the lyrics is, are cool. Matt is one of the most talented people of our straight up of our era. It's it's, it's not fair. It's crazy. And he's jacked. And he's jacked. So like literally pick pound, one, pound, dude. Just like, oh my god, it's not fair at all. Pick one. I, I I resent that, Matt. I think you should get fat. Uh, and then a bunch of shit that I don't agree with. So I'm gonna exit <laughs> out. Um, <laughs> ASAP for Trap Lord. Honestly, I don't maybe. Know. I just don't know. <laughs> it's, it kicks ass. <laughs> uh, Biohazard State of the World Address. Interesting. Yeah, I, I I noticed you didn't say a Biohazard record. I thought for sure that would have been. It's it that's that would be the closest of the if three. I, if I had to put you together, like some kind of monster, <laughs> it would be typo. Marauder, Life of Agony, mm-hmm. Biohazard. Those are your four parts. Like the, you think those are the four things I like the most, or just when that's it how comes you to like he, when it comes to like that era of music, that kind of music, heavy music. I thought basically what I'm saying is I thought that Biohazard would have been much higher on your list. No, I would do like a Dying Fetus over a Biohazard. Interesting. I would. I don't do so. I would do Sepultura over Biohazard. Sepultura might, Chaos AD might be number three on my entire it's list. It's insane. Yeah. Um, What's better, Rumors or Chaos AD? Chaos AD. <laughs> 100%. Uh, I killed the prom queen, somebody said. Yeah. Keep on scrolling. Well, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, I, I think Cryptopsy too- None So Vile was, is a great pick. I think something that, that people need to be aware of, too, is... We're answering these without having really explained the question. Yeah. So if we're just like blowing past them, it's because. I'm saying, what do you think is as good as what I think is the best thing? Right, right. So we're being, we're being kind of like about it because we didn't really nuance that. There's only no. so many characters in a tweet. Yeah, exactly. American Nightmare background music. At the time. Paradigm. F- yeah, 1,000%. I personally, and this is no disrespect, I just don't think it holds up quite as well. I think the Carry On LP holds up better. Yeah. I just, that's just kind of, I've listened to it, I've gone back. Production-wise, it's kind of hard to hear. There's something weird with the kick. Like, I just, I don't really know. But it's impact, it's art, uh, the lyrics, Mm -hmm. undeniable. The, the fucking AN hoodie. Good Lord. Changed the world. Unbelievable. Uh, somebody said Great Malenko by ICP for Horrorcore. The Great Malenko. And Energy by Op Ivy for Ska Punk. I know Ooh. Mac Miller is listening to this going, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know why Op Ivy is definitively the best Ska Pant ever? Why? Zero horns. Mm. That's so cool. I love a horn. I fuck a horn, dude. Are you, are you a Thursday guy? No. A lot of people put Thursday full collapse in here. Cool. No, I prefer. Cool. I'm a more of a Friday man. <laughs> uh, bitter end, climate of fear. I could see that being some people's master killer. I really yeah, can. Of like that, that decade. That era, that uh, region. Absolutely. I could oh, see yeah. that for sure. I don't think any of them would agree, but I could see. Uh, it. Yeah, I could see. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, it is, it was a paradigm shift. Mm-hmm. It's hard to argue. I mean, no real skips. Production's crazy. Lyrics mm-hmm. are amazing. Hmm. Master killer. Though. Yeah. Do you think a TUI record is master killer tier? In a different way. You know? <laughs> no, wait a minute. You just opened a whole new yeah, door. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I wouldn't say there's skips. Maybe they might. They TUI is one of those things where, like, like I didn't put typo, you know? I didn't put oh, my okay, favorite yeah, band yeah, yeah, totally. at, on, at, on that list. But totally. I think TUI is one of those things where they are a once in five generations type band where you could argue that the discography as a whole is, is master killer tier. Interesting. Okay. 
It's t- it's tough to pinpoint a record when I like them all, and I think the production is good on all of them. Mm. The lyrics are good on all. The lyrics of them. are fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah, that was like, I think that that was kind of what made it work Absolutely. so quickly. Absolutely. The lyrics being unique, and mm-hmm. he's like, I'm cold all the time. I'm cold. You want? He's and they, like there were there were callbacks. Everything, it's fucking crazy. I'm fucking freezing. Once in a gen, once in five generation band, Trapped and Dragon. Ah, I have one. <sighs> Actually, I'm trying to decide. So for me, it's it's between Rain and Blood and South of Heaven. Rain and Blood. But Rain- I, I don't. I have that on my list. I don't know why I didn't say it. Okay. It's like at the top. I just skipped it because we were talking about other things. Even though I'm a huge, obvious, huge Metallica guy, I think Rain and Blood is the best metal record. Best, thr- like, not like, even just thrash metal, just metal. Yeah. Yo, showing, like, Raining Blood, the song, to regular people. Yeah. They yeah. hear the intro, they're like, <laughs> this shit's hard, you know? Yeah. They don't know what that means, and they know yeah. it's hard. Yeah. It transcended record, everything. Un, that's an unbelievable record. I'll, even outside of like the obvious ones, Jesus saves, altar of sacrifice. Yeah, piece by piece. Yeah. Oh God, goodbye to the gallows by Amir. That's crazy. What's next? Suffocation appears from within. Ah. Uh, one of my favorite death metal albums ever. But the full, the start to back Sonic experience is what this is about. You know? Yeah. So I don't know if this adds that. And I got you. I got you. One of the greatest guitar tones ever. The gr- maybe the greatest recorded chug mm. in the history of music. The, the greatest recorded palm mute ever on Pierce from Within. Would you say prone mortal form is? There's a couple skips. Okay. But again, production. You're being fair. You're being fair. The production. The production. Is that, and it's, the production is untouchable. Could That's never perfect. be replicated. And the performance. Se- the sequencing is amazing. But there's like a skip right off the bat. Which song? And then the second song. I, I so skip it. Just, yeah. uh, but I, uh, it's, it's near perfect. And it's, I, I, I'm. I say that while being named after a song, you know, it's, mm-hmm. it has obviously influenced me in more ways than most other bands. So yeah. that's why I'm being, I'm being as real as it gets here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't put typo and I didn't put only Live witness on here. Two of the most important things in the world to me. The mm-hmm. aside once upon the cross, couple skips. I, I actively didn't put this on, but again, one of the, my favorite death metal albums ever. A couple <laughs> of the best. Sh- and it shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, big time. Um, another Kill em All. It's crazy. That's crazy. Like, guys, no. It's not they even weren't close. Them yet. They weren't them yet. They were still no. trying to be like new wave British heavy metal. It's crazy. Come on. Start today. What do you think? I love Start Today. And with the exception of Turning Point, Gorilla Biscuits were for sure, I mean, Walter's a wizard. Mm -hmm. They were for sure a league above every other band of that ilk, minus Turning Point, who were a little Mm later. Um, There's some, some of these things are so crazy that I don't even want to say them. It could be Master Killer tier, honestly. It could, I, I could, I could accept the argument. I don't think personally I would say that, but it could be. That's a good fucking record. Dude, somebody put Swamp Thing. That's crazy. <laughs> Swamp thing. Guys. Well, somebody put Axis. Show your greed. Master Killer. Like the the we're putting Master Killer above satisfaction. I'm saying Master Killer is as good as Thriller. <laughs> and you're giving me Swamp Thing? And like it's that's not even like that can't be perceived as disrespectful to Swamp Thing. No, of course not. It's it's thriller. Yeah, Master Killer is the thriller 
of metallic hardcore music. <laughs> but honestly, be e- real here, but- <laughs> folks. Guys, grow up. But it's also like kind of not because you would skip a song on Thriller. Think about that. Think yeah, about Master Killer really- is better than Thriller. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Master Thriller. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Mm. Even yeah. Ill Blood, which I love start to finish. I, I don't, I wouldn't say it's Master Killer tier. Uh, I, I would. I would confidently say that. That's, and I, and I get that. Yeah. But see, like it wasn't, it wasn't a gateway record for me. You know, Boy. I already liked what they liked. Yeah. See, so, so there was, you go. I was, I was youth crew guy, yes. but I wasn't into New York hardcore yet. Right. I was right there. I was next door. Same neighborhood. Of course. But I just didn't, I wasn't aware of Killing Time yet. I wasn't mm-hmm. aware of Marauder yet. I, I think it's an, an incredible hardcore record that, that influenced so many things and defined a decade. That's what we're talking about. No? It is. But Master Killer. Yeah. Yeah, Master Killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this could what, be nine hours long. What's your favorite Marauder? <laughs> What's your favorite ringworm record? I almost I almost oh, said wow. what's your favorite Marauder record? Record? Yeah, your favorite Earth ringworm record. Okay. Earth is Pain is my favorite record. I think a lot of the I think the hardest one is Justice Replaced by Revenge. Absolutely correct. I think the promise is Production. Production a- is actually <laughs> the production is booty, dude. Dude. <laughs> booty cheeks. <laughs> How about the production on the demo, though? Way it's better. Incredible. Way better. It's perfect. Yeah, it's. I don't know what happened there. It went from good to, to booty cheeks. Um, uh, yeah. If I were to put on a, a ringworm record right now, it would be Justice for sure. I've committed war crimes to both. What could we consider, like biological warfare to both birth is pain and justice replaced by revenge the songs the song yeah so i accept either answer uh <laughs> infiltrate destroy rebuild by cky i don't know enough about that i don't hate on cky i, I really don't either don't. they wrote I just, the i mean the best riff ever is the one, <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> dude we were talking about um Oh, I've, never mind. I already talked about how Nick made the comparison of the One Saves the Day song to. I mean, that riff is fucking crazy. It's, insane. it's, insane. it's amazing. Uh, Jane Doe, One with the Underdogs, Rain mm-hmm. Supreme, mm-hmm. Keepers of the Faith. But Born to Land Hard production is. It's wild. Crazy. I wonder One of the scariest. Knew. Yeah. Scary production. That's Scary a difficult. Production. That's a difficult thing to do. Uh, I might put Borderline Hard as Master Killer tier. I definitely if, have if, one that that you're gonna hate. But you know, I'm not alone in this. But White Pony's up there. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> manscape.com <laughs> oh we should do that um yeah, we, we will no we got to put it in the middle yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, that's gonna be funny when they've already heard it, heard it. <laughs> uh like somebody said axe to fall and like i don't have an argument against that yeah well converge uh their batting average is really crazy it's insane it's really crazy yeah so i can't i can't argue against that because yeah. production Sequencing songs don't know the, any of the lyrics, so I don't know. Yeah, the one true. I know is incredible. So true. yeah, true. Good point. Yeah, it's it's very good. Um, refuse the shape of punk to, punk to come. I know people really love that. Yeah, people love that stuff. Um, I think there's cooler. You know the punk TikTok from with the, the TikTok trend right now with the fart over the like beat. Yeah, yeah. where it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Where's the megaphone? <laughs> that's what I that's how I feel about refuse. Um 
In reality, the the main thing to take away from this uh, that Bloop24 says is that Hardlore is the master killer of podcasts. We know this. Objective. Yeah. So thank you so much. Catchphrases, <laughs> production, merch. <laughs> the big three, they would say. <laughs> I'm just doing one last scan. Yeah, do here. a last scan. Try to find a, a big... I feel like we're forgetting something. I'm sure we're forgetting dozens, but of course, well, of course I feel like we we're we're forgetting like a major something. Break down the walls? Would you say that you almost put that right? I almost put youth of today. Um, I, I don't think I think there are skips on break down the walls. Production unreal for what it, that record is. It's perfect. it sounds crazy. Yeah, and that was Don Fury. Yeah. Don. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I I think th there's other stuff I like more. Um, I love Youth of Today is 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 my favorite straight edge man. They're perfect. I like. I'm crazy about them, but that doesn't. This is me doing your typo thing, where I can yeah. say like, they didn't put anything out that is like that. They did mm -hmm. do paradigm shifts. They had a music video in the '80s, like crazy stuff. Yeah, but I just don't think you can't compare the performances on any of their records to 30 seconds anywhere on master killer right oh just two different things well yeah. said that was the that was very honest of you you know it really was what about in in terms of the crowbar discog i love crowbar what what's your favorite crowbar record probably aaron said dress. that's what aaron said when we were talking about this it's, i think i'm a broken glass guy it's a lot harder. Yeah. You like it harder? I like a balance of, like, you get Planets Collide and to carry the load fucking back to back. I mean, Planets Collide is my favorite song. And then, But then right before that is the hardest mm. breakdown maybe ever written. Planets Collide might be one of my favorite songs ever ever <laughs> yeah it's it's like i got lana my wife my non -mu hard music wife into crowbar with planets collide yeah now she's into the whole discog nice opposite of december see that was so never my shit same uh chris might say that mm. chris chris likes poison the well I, you know I what i just... already liked that i could that made me like not really care terror master killer <laughs> so it's hard to it's hard to argue for it oh, you know? wow Pillars of Ivory. Master Killer was my opposite of December. <laughs> <laughs> Pillars of Ivory? Somebody put that? No, no, no. What I'm saying is is like the the, the phrase, a pillar of ivory. Oh, it's, like, okay. it's just like you were already living in this yeah, I was there. grand place. I was there. I'm out here. I think that's about... Ooh, I just got the chills looking at the Sinking Ships one again. <laughs> you got the CBGBs. I got the CBGBs real bad. God, no diss to Sinking Ships, man. No, we don't know him. I don't know him at all. I'm not a melodic hardcore guy to begin with. So, like, I was clearly never their target demo, you know? I saw him 10 times. Mm. All my friends had the hoodie. Mm. But Master Killer. Yeah, we're talking We're talking about the god. Some might say Master Killer is the godfather of heavy music. Oh, gorgeously vice spoken. Vice versa as well. Gorgeously spoken. Some might say Godfather is the master killer of cinema. That's uh, I would I I might say that. But so I think that's that puts it into perspective does. for me. That's it. That's and that's where we wrap this this yeah. very long episode. <laughs> very long. But remember, we had the, the oh right, but that was some probably. I mean, it's, it's like still it's still over two hours. So we hope you enjoyed this 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 very different thing for us. Mm -hmm. um, we th th this is what we're all about, you know. Yeah. You're, this is the this is the boys shooting the shit about their favorite things. Well, we got brought that. back straight back into music, you know <laughs> the way it should the way it should be. That's right. And this is something that like we do this on tour every day, every single every day. day. Um, so this is this is a story from tour because this conversation has been had. I've By done everyone. this same thing with Sean Martin at some point, and yeah. he agrees with everything I've said today, <laughs> probably. <laughs> when one the first day of tour when Sean joined Twitching Tongues, I put Faith No More Angel Dust on. Mm -hmm. 
And I was driving, and he was in the front seat, and he was like, is this Angel's Lake? And I was like, yeah. And I was afraid he was going to be like, turn this shit off or something. Cause like, yeah. And he's like, this is like one of the best records of all time. This was really? day one of being friends with Sean, basically. Really? And it was like, we're going to be just fine. Wow. Yeah, it was very cool. So. Wow. Sean Martin agrees, then you <laughs> can't disagree. And that's how it works. Master Killer is the Master Killer of Master Killer. Hard Lore is the Master Killer of Master Killer. <laughs> Thank you for listening. See you next week. Bye. Bye.